Emperor has been expecting you. Hi everyone and welcome to 1-6 Figure Focus and you are watching The Hope Show. And in The Hope Show tonight we have Ian, Ancient Silver Fox, Dan in Carbonite, and coming to us from sunny Florida, I believe, we have Phil, a.k.a. The Empire Strikes. And we may have a few other people joining us as the evening progresses. We've got a good show lined up for you with a lot to talk about. I think we're going to get straight into it. So I'm just going to pick out one of these uh, fellows here and they can just pick what we're going to discuss. So Dan, haven't seen you in a while, so you're very welcome back. Hello. Have a choice. Oh, what are you going to go for? Um... <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, you all right? Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I just not dropped You're just really here. excited to be here. <laughs> I said to you earlier, I've not spoke to anyone concerning collecting for a while, so it's, it's, I've been looking forward to it, actually. Uh, let's go for um, Pattinson Batman. Pattinson Batman, straight in, straight in. Okay, I'm going to move on. I'll, I'll, we're going to talk about that, right, fair enough, but I'm going to actually, actually ask uh, Ian to give us a, his apparent hot take on this one here. So just before you get started, shout out to the 32 people watching live or anyone watching the replay. If you're enjoying the content, hit the like button. It takes you a second, it costs nothing. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you're getting some sort of value from the content, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're not getting any value from this, what the fuck are you watching? Piss off. All right, so uh, <laughs> it's, it's honest, it's true. So this appeared today um and in art have a very very strange way of releasing things i this doesn't seem like it's released it doesn't even seem like it's even blogger released or, or whatever uh if, if that makes any sense if, if everyone wants to know how good this head sculpt is because the head sculpt with the rooted hair is arguably going to be the big thing difference between this and the hot toys one because the hot toys one from what i understand is a great figure i don't have it on hand yet if this were me, I'd be taking a close-up, well-lit, high-res image photograph of the head sculpt rooted hair from the front, from the back, from the left, from the right, from the sides. That's definitely something I would do. I would also have made sure that there was at least one photo. Wait for it. Wait for it. Still waiting for it. Of Batman with the cowl on. Now, um, I'll give my thoughts on do I think this is good or bad later on, but Ian, over to you. Right, so so my take's not on the sculpt or the hair. Um, it's the hands, is it? No, not enough hands. No, it's... Right, so so this is the this is my take on it. it the way in that communicate reminded me of Philip at Toys Wonderland when there was an issue. So... They go into panic mode, and what do they do? So they're disappointing customers, and you've got Philip walking about his office with a piece of paper or taking photos of a stack of figures or showing figures. What do an art do? They show a series of figures, hands, weapons. It, it does not reflect well, in my opinion, um, from a marketing and brand management point of view. Everybody knows there's delays. So a caveat, I like an art. I've bought from an art. I've got pre-orders with an art. It's not like I have an issue. I don't like their style of communicating. Hot toys don't do it. You're maybe better off. It's an estimate that you're given. I don't like you communicate that you've got a delay and you show all these accessories, the hands, the figures. Who cares? You're not delivering. So they're trying to soften it in a way that doesn't come across with integrity. That's my take on it. I don't like it. So for me, it's not what a company should be doing. And it reminds me of the low-level gutter nonsense that Philip at Toys Wonderland done and does. That's my take. Tell us how you really feel. Yeah. <laughs> just, so, just. Do you think this is good, though? Honest. Like, okay, 
take take the style and the communication out of it and all this. Do you think this is good from what you've seen? I don't like the hair. You don't like the hair? Interesting. No, I don't. I don't like that. It's it's not. It feels different to what we saw before, and this one looks different from a couple of others that are in the same photos. I could be wrong, but um, it's it's too wavy, too wiry, too dry. Yeah, I'm not seeing that, to be honest. I think the hair is all right. I'm not seeing that. The, the, Maybe because in the background, I think they have a, do they have a mix of, perhaps, this is obviously rooted, right, this boy yeah, here on the left looks sculpted. Is that sculpted on the left? Yeah, I, I, I think is this it? one here, the one, the one that's in focus is rooted. The one on the left here, it's out of focus, it's blurry. Like, it's hard to tell. It's out of focus. Yeah. But I think that one yeah. on the left is possibly sculpted. I, so, you know the one on the far left here? I think that's sculpted. Yeah. I, I, the I, one I'm on the just going to be... I'm, Go I'm going to be very honest. I, <laughs> no disrespect to any... I, I'm not getting this because of... Uh, the Hot Toys one, but I don't like that here. I don't like it. Okay. Um, anything else you want to add before we move on? No, it's very negative, isn't it? <laughs> so, no, that's all right. It's an I opinion. did say like, I had I mean, a take. No, no, that, that, that's a valid opinion. And I haven't been on the, the groups or anything um, today, but uh, I was talking to uh, one of my friends and they were saying, yeah, apparently the feedback in the groups is, is quite negative towards it. But like, that, that, that's fair enough. Um, and I do have, um, I'll leave my kind of take until the end there. Dan, you picked it. Um, what do you think about this? Have you seen these shots already? Or uh, Yeah, I saw them earlier. Um, I sort of agree with Ian. I think the way they've done this, obviously, in the, you know, they can, in the past, we've seen this before, and it does get excitement to people. Oh, it's coming out. But I think they should have, and similar to what you said, they should have taken better pictures of this if you know what I mean. I mean, a few people in the chat said about the nose being off. Um, I think we just need better pictures. It's always been the same before where we've seen, you know, uh, blogger pictures with the iPhones or, sorry, the, you know, people get them in hand, they do an iPhone pick and everyone kicks off and everything like yeah. that. Um, I think they, I, I don't know. I, I mean, for me, I'm, I've am i ordered the sculpted hair because uh, I think I'd rather keep the, the you know the Batman cowl on and everything like that, so it would never really, would, would you know, the extra money wouldn't really bother me on this one. But um, I, I don't mind the hair here. But again, I think we just need to see some better pictures, um, yeah. Yeah. just better quality. I think they are. They did say that it would start shipping the end of last month, which was yesterday. It's not so. Like Ian said, it's. Um, you know, it's not good on in art really because mm -hmm. a lot of us aren't going to get this for four or five months anyway mm -hmm. because of their bat systems. So I think that's not going to help a lot of people's sort of uh, feelings on this this release so far, especially yeah. because it's going up against the Hot Toys version. The first one, the first thing that, you know, we can compare. And I don't think it's a good start from in art. But then we've all said this before where, um, you know, we see, a, like I said, we see a picture not very well lit or not i don't know if that do, what do you guys think do you are these professional photos or are they on an iphone um i i think anyone could have taken these photos but if, it, if yeah, it might be on a dslr on but it's not you know yeah. it, it but if you like have it's... like portrait mode on the iphone especially new iphones you can get quite good photos so yeah. i think it's more it's not even the 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 resolution seems quite good it does seem sharp hmm. and obviously you have the foreground here is in focus in the background blurred out whatever i get that but like just show us a close-up of like i'm zoomed in here like if you look at how the photo was taken like everyone wants to see the head sculpt and the rooted hair that should be a close-up well lit high-res photo of the front of the face the back of the head the left and right just be like this is what you're getting this is what we've done this is our offering um but uh, I'll, I'll wait until after Phil before I, I give my, t my take on that. Phil, uh, I, I don't think this is one that you've on order, but uh, any interest in this? What do you think? Have you had a chance to flick through these uh, images? Oh, keep it fairly brief because um, I've sort of just popped in and out of social media in the past week or so just to see if anything new was dropping. But uh, being April the 1st, I've seen a lot of laughing emojis underneath. I just thought it was an April Fool and moved on. So I didn't, mm -hmm. 
I didn't think too much yeah. notice of it to be honest. But uh, mm-hmm. I mean, no, I'm not. I'm not getting it. But I'm not quite sure whether to be. If you're spending that sort of money, I'd probably be slightly disappointed. But yeah, it, there's a lot of factor in there with the lighting. It does look like a phone shot. They're just showing you the well, to me, the production line is moving and getting uh, getting ready to release. <coughs> but, Cool. Thanks for your thoughts there. Um, my own thoughts on it is that when I woke up this morning, this is the first image I saw because I think like in the on their official in art Instagram and Facebook, they had a bunch of photos like the ones we're scrolling through now. And I think this one was the lead photo. And the first thing I thought was when they first uh, put up the prototype images of the very, very way back when, nearly two years ago, I thought, man, he looks a little skinny. And here I thought, this looks a little Beetlejuice, just just a little bit like it, the proportions. His head looks a tiny bit smaller. Now, of course, with the cowl on, that could make a, a difference. But I did I did specifically remember saying and thinking that the very first prototype images I saw of this guy with the cowl on, it looked a bit, it looked a bit skinny. And then here, it's kind of the opposite. I, I, I don't think this is like, I don't think this looks terrible or anything like that. Um, but when I saw it this morning, I reshared in arts um, the the bunch of photos, their post basically with a bunch of bunch of these photos on it to my story, and I was like, "Real or April's Fools?" Because I I, I don't know if <laughs> I don't I don't think they have I don't know if they're going to come out tomorrow and go, "We got gotcha. you," you know, we're just playing a trick. We we've doctored these a little bit. Here are the actual photos. Now maybe that's a, a massive halo reach, but I I was kind of going, it just looks a little bit. Um, a bit underwhelming to be honest like especially like the the likeness of Patterson was so good and I can definitely still see him here no doubt no doubt but it does look the likeness has taken a drop off a bit however all of these points I'm making could be made completely redundant with multiple more photos um, like I've said from the start of the, screen, the, the stream, give us a close-up image of the front, the back, the left and right. So, like, if they come out tomorrow and say, ah, this is an April Fool's, we're just messing with you, and we've officially released it, and here are the photos, and give us a ton of blogger photos, because we know that they can take fantastic images. The prototype images for Paul were, like, out of this world. Um, they were just so good. And I think the prototype images, there was another one uh, recently, uh, before, oh my god, the... The, the Joker 4-pack and that little uh, movie that they made, top-notch stuff. So I think maybe Dan touched on it. Do you think these are taking a DSLR? Professional? I think this is going to be just like taking photos of what's in the, the warehouse or the the shop floor at the moment with just a camera, a decent camera, and just pop them up. Um, yeah, it definitely doesn't look like a showcase, does it? Yeah. It's so look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to reserve my final judgment until we actually get more more images and more uh, video. I, w- I want to see what it actually looks like, because I think maybe it's a bit too early to be um, crucifying this, to be honest. So, uh, I, yeah, I don't, uh, from what I've seen, it's a bit underwhelming, but I definitely don't think it's it's trash or anything like that. I just think they're doing really strange things, and they you have noticed they do, they have a habit of doing these almost soft releases. Like, when... Hot Toys put something up for for pre-order. Bang! It just goes up. There's a bunch of different prototype images. You know this is now available for pre-order. And then when it gets released, the blogger photos, bang! It's on their social media uh, straight away. And you know it's an official release. It's a big deal. You know, and people start getting them out then. But in art, it's kind of like, they give us these, oh, here's a few photos. of Yeah, yeah, it's out now. And then a month later, you might get maybe some of the... Um, the some content creators getting the early batch or people in China getting the early batch and then you're six months later people start getting them so it's 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 very strange but look um, I'm sure the fact checker has something to say about this so we're going to bring this man in Jose give us your thoughts <laughs> um, well just jumping right into it man uh, a lot of people are are going a little crazy this morning for these photos man um, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. It, it's hard to tell. We're looking at certain angles. We're looking at, uh, you know, <clears throat> there's also, you think about the camera, right? Uh, you guys that are really into photography, like what kind of lens they use, the distortion of the face. can Sometimes the face can look skinnier or wider depending on what lens they're using. So 
uh, I think in our tents, I guess you guys were, I was hearing a little bit right there backstage, like in our tents mm -hmm. do have those photos sometimes where they're not great at taking these photos sometimes. So that might be the case. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, go too in depth into it. I would relax and take a chill pill and, and let's see how when someone actually has it in hand with some great lighting and then we'll, we'll decide from there who is the winner ultimately between, you know, Hot Toys and NR. But you know, for now, you know, let's reserve judgment. These photos are not the best. I will 100% agree. And I am a little concerned about the hair, but uh, for me personally, I got the sculpted anyways. I, I wanted to get uh, rooted, but at the time, the price just didn't, you know, I didn't think about it that way. So uh, I went sculpted. So ultimately, it's not going to impact me, but I, I definitely know those who ordered the <clears throat> sculpted, and especially those who ordered the all-in uh, version, which has the Bruce Wayne as well, which is also rooted. Uh, there might be some concerns there. So let's wait and see. I, that's, that's my opinion. Thanks very much for sharing that. Do appreciate that. Um, we're just going to do uh, address the chat, obviously, because we haven't really we went straight into this and we didn't get a chance <laughs> yeah. to say hello to anyone. So um, as usual, if you're interested in becoming a channel member, the link to join and become a channel member is obviously uh, inside in the live chat. It's a pinned comment. Uh, no pressure, but if you want some additional exclusive perks, uh, and you want to support the channel, please uh, consider joining. Right, so we have Noble Young. Thanks very much for being here. He's always first. We have Brad Kosky. Brad's probably not a fan of what we're uh, saying here. Shane Inert just released final uh, product pics of the Batman. Can't wait to display him with the Jazz Inc. 22 and the bike. And then again, ja uh, Brad has said the head sculpt does look a bit off, though. Fair enough. And that's someone who's hyped for this release. He was actually commented on, I think, what, what, what might have been this video uh, before it actually went live or, or one of the other ones and he was saying like where's my inner batman i think it was actually in the live tour that i did with ian um on, on saturday night so he actually commented going where's the inner batman so apparently it's been released now it's hard to tell though because they do these kind of soft releases or something like that um so i appreciate that brad was looking forward to this but can still recognize eh, something's a bit off there obviously ian agent silver fox is here we got Humble Man 707 best show on Monday. I always look forward to. Thank you. No, thank you. Appreciate that uh, that comment. Uh, we have a channel member here, 12 inch Moose Stream. Hello, community collectors. I didn't order the in art Batman in any version as of yet. I'm glad that I didn't so far. Okay, fair enough. Now, hopefully, uh, my opinion might change now if we get more images. Uh, we got uh, Hobby Halbert, Artisan Jack is going to be a gem. I, I do agree with you. Tragedy Tales channel member, thank you for being here. We got Costa, pop culture living room, watching from a treadmill as I train for a 10 miler. The show better be entertaining, damn it. <laughs> Apparently Taylor Swift, when she was training for her latest um, tour or whatever, she plays live for three hours. I'm not a fan, but I've heard this and I thought this was kind of respectful. That was kind of good. She uh, sings the whole set while running on a treadmill and I believe... Um, Beyonce and Destiny's Child used to do that. Apparently, it's a thing to get the cardio up and still be able to uh, sing when you're 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 out of breath and tired. So um, start singing, Costa. That's what I'm saying. Um, late to work. I am definitely late to work, or maybe you're late to work. I'm not sure. Talia Meyer uh, from Germany, I believe. Uh, thanks very much for being here. Brick Art misses here. Coppers in the house. Ryan Smith channel member. Thank you very much for being. Here. We got Calvin, the low key collector, is sometimes on the panel as well. Thanks very much for being here. Collector Joey, the man responsible for the uh, ever growing Joey kangaroo uh, population in Texas. It's out of control there. All those Joeys are uh, running wild. Thanks very much for being here. Who else do we got? We got Mike Fela. Thanks very much for being here. Um, we got Sit Scale Collector. What's up? Uh, all good. Just uh, just chatting, um, chatting collectibles as usual. Uh, love that shirt, Shane. Thank you very much. Just a Six Scale Scavengers shirt, but I'm a total hypocrite because I I really don't pre-order much. Um, One sixth Rick. Thanks very much for being here. Who else we got? I think we're kind of getting close to the top. Do, do, do. Um, damn, I don't think it's as bad as Toy Toys Wonderland, haha. <laughs> but it's not good. Yeah, I don't fully agree with it, yeah, Ian there either. Like, but uh, it's all right. You know, this is we bring you on differences, opinions. That's the whole point. You know, he doesn't agree with me half the time either. Uh, I real, I really like. This is an April Fool. Uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? We can, we can live in hope. <laughs> X Men Supreme, live your truth, Ian. You got support there from X Men Supreme. Yeah, there you go. He's uh, going full Mardi Gras there. 
Um, Jose, who is a little bit late, but so is I. So better late than never, and he's here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry about Where's that. His... You're all right. I was late too. Why is his, his eyes so goddamn blue? Not sure. I didn't pick up on that. Mark Attack is here. Man, we got Keith, 0065. Uh, I bet Daniel is having a blast with these picks. It's kind of going right over my head now, Keith. But uh, I bet Daniel's having... Not sure, but yeah, maybe he is. Maybe he is. Um, I get that there are probably going to be a few who display him this way, but aren't 95% collected. Yeah, see, the thing is, I was going to display him showing that head sculpt and the rooted hair and holding the cowl. Because that's the Hot Toys version too, because I figured I could throw the cowl on that one, and I don't want to cover up the rooted hair uh, if it's if it's really, really good. Um, Costa saying, you still don't release this shit. Uh, we got 69 people uh, watching live. Good for you. Uh, thanks very much, and if you're watching in the replay... Uh, I appreciate that as well. I'm reserving judgment until pictures after today, Shane. You never know. You never know. Maybe tomorrow they come out and go, gotcha. Um, where is Eddie? I'm not sure where Eddie is. I'm not sure where Eddie is. Uh, he's, he's he's probably... He's, he's working anyway. I think it, the 9 o'clock doesn't suit. Uh, popping in to say, what's up to you all? Have a great one, everybody. Thanks very much, Steve. I do appreciate that. And Mark Attack saying, stop following him. Here we go. We got Alan, the six scale gallery. Folks, I'm getting closer and closer up here now. So there we go. Brandon Salad. And I'm finally, we're up to date. Okay, right. That was a lot. 71 people watching live. Massive thank you. All right. So we're going we're gonna to go straight into something different here. We'll get you something to, uh, to talk about. Well, one thing I'll hey. add on this, uh, by the way, uh, oh, I no, think no, the, no, 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 you had your chance. No, I'm only joking. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do, I do think the the suit does look really good, though. So I didn't say we we're talking about the overall photos in general and then the sculpt, but I do think that the suit looks better. The collar looks a little bit more accurate than the Hot Toys version. So I think, uh, yeah. I, I think for the most part, I think it may be the winner when it comes to the suit. But I'm not so sure about everything else. But we'll see. Yeah. Look, I, I. I... I just think I'm going to reserve judgment until I have more photos, more video. I, I want to see it properly. I We've seen this before. In our, for some reason, they, they show things which are kind of undercooked, and then bang, the real deal tends to work out very well. The first version of Aragorn, even though that was in the prototype stage, was bloody awful. It was falling apart. And then look how good the prototype turned out. So, um, yeah, look, uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. Um, but I don't think it's... Um, I don't think it's trash or anything like that, but I think it's a bit underwhelming. But uh, yeah, and the suit does look good. You're right. Um, actually, I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick. I'll let Jose pick it next. Okay. I want to face the fact checker. Whoa, so, okay. Behind the scenes, Ooh, I have uh. asked Agent Silverfox to put together the, the uh, questions. I don't know what, the, what they are. Obviously, we're going to do this. Uh, oh, full. gosh. So myself and you are going to switch into a private chat mode there. Mm -hmm. So we can't see if anyone potentially spoils the answers. And uh, you can go first. So Ian, uh, one second, I've got music for this. One <clears> second. <throat> I have music for this. There we go. Okay. Should be playing any second now. <laughs> That's brilliant. Can you hear it? Yeah. It's probably too loud now, is it? Uh, I hear it now. <laughs> okay, that could be really loud for them, but um, maybe just let us know in the <clears throat> comment section real quick. Is that too loud? Can you still hear us? Anyone at all? Because it might be different for us in the, in, and, in the studio. And, and remember, everybody, there is no phone a friend. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> X-Man Supreme says he can barely uh, hear it, so that's what we want. That's 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 perfect. Okay, switching to private chat. You may go first uh, with the first question, unless you want to go second. No, I don't care. Okay. Right, well, fact checker gets the pick first because he's reigning champion. So okay, first well, or second, that. Jose. That's fair enough. Uh, the first. First. Okay. In what year in the USA did Finding mm -hmm. Nemo release? Finding Nemo? It's early 2000s. Uh, 2003. 
correct. <laughs> oh, did not see him getting that one. And neither right, did Shane. you. All right, okay. Right, Shane. <clears throat> and I've added in in the USA that's key on this these questions. In what year in the USA did Toy Story release? Music is so soothing. I'm gonna say 1994. 1995. Damn it. I knew that one. That was my guess, yeah. Okay. Right, Jose. Who directed the movie Some Like It Hot? That's the Marilyn Monroe movie, right? Can can you answer those questions, or uh, does that matter? <laughs> uh, it, 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 no, it is a Marilyn Monroe movie, definitely. Yeah, a movie I've seen I, I, I didn't want to answer, but Shane's confirmed. Yeah. Uh, uh, shoot. So I saw this for film school. I'm trying to remember. It was something with the W. Wilder, right? Billy? Billy Wilder? Oh, yes. <laughs> Correct. God. This guy. <laughs> I remember the name. You know why? I, I had. I was like trying to trace back this memory that I had. It was on a list of movies that we watched. And it was, I remember like she listed all the movies and then the director. And like in my head, I'm trying to visualize the paper that I was looking at. And uh, I, I just, the W came to me and I was like, I'm pretty sure it sounds kind of like Willy Wonka, Willy, Will, yeah. and that, that's, that's kind of, yeah, that's where it went. That's impressive. Ho Jose, you're not autistic like Rain Man, are you? No, 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 uh, but it's <laughs> just, <laughs> but it's just that visually, I, so like sometimes I'll, I'll just try to think of like a core memory, right? Or a memory that I remember specifically. And that's kind of where like memorization kind of comes. Cool. No, right. <laughs> okay, Shane. Who directed the movie Spartacus? Okay, it's an older movie. It's an older movie. It's. it's I think that was released around the times of Ben-Hur and stuff like that. I'd put that back. I think that's 70s. Mm. Earlier. Oh. having a clue but I have to have a guess but I know that if I guess and the guess is stupid I'll get roasted for it um no I, I I've not done it I'm thinking of an old director um gotta say something or Orson Welles Stanley oh, Kubrick. Kubrick. Crap. Kubrick, Jesus. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Ask him his third question, see if he gets three out of three anyway. He has me beat. He has me beat. Jose, you are the fact checker for now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one's for fun. Uh, less pressure now. <laughs> yeah, full transparency. I'm going to flip this question, what I wrote it. So it's the opposite is going to Jose okay. and Shane. Right, so. <laughs> You're going to give me the harder one? No, I'm 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 just curious. Okay. Right. Who played the character Lance in Pulp Fiction? Oh gosh. Why am I spacing out on the names? Uh I don't know. Uh 
Uh, oh, I like stumping the fact checker. It feels good. I can't even remember the character Lance. I think I know who 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 it uh, is. Well, it's, it's not. It's not one of the main guys. It's probably one of the guys that's driving around. Um, I see his face. I don't remember his name. Um, Uh, I'll take the L. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Eric Stokes. Oh, yeah. Well, what's the it. last question? Oh. So, Shane, who played the character Mr. Blonde in Reservoir Dogs? Oh. Oh. Is it Mike Madsen? Yes. So it's two ones a bit better than three one. Okay, I'll take that. All right. All right. <laughs> well done, Jose. Well done. Right. Well done. Well done. We're going to switch back to this uh, normal music. Or, well, normal <laughs> background music, should we say. Okay. Right. Hey, those were pretty tough. They were those good. Were they were good. Tough. I like yeah. that. I like that. All right, okay, until next week. Okay, so look, you are the, you are the fact checker reigning supreme. So uh, you pick a topic. Uh, I'm gonna kind of lean into the dark side. Let's go dark side. Okay, something, something dark side. Okay, where do I have this one lined up? Right. Uh, yeah. So we'll share this tab. We'll just watch this, and then I'll take it off, and then. We'll... Okay. Right. So I'll. I don't know if to mute this or what. I don't know. Will I get a copyright strike with this? Who cares? We'll just play it. Okay, so right, so what the hell is going on with that? You wanna you wanna give us your thoughts on it, uh, Jose? In terms of the teaser, whatever you think uh, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there's a lot of confusion in regards to the post because it's talking about them showing showcasing these dark side figures. A lot of them are older figures, just by the silhouettes that we're looking at. They're kind of. Uh, the older figures that they've already done so there seems to be a lot of confusion whether they're going to remake or 2.0 these figures or if there's gonna you know they're just showing what they've already done including a few new figures that they're going to add to the to the so-called line or whatever this is going to be called uh i think you guys were mentioning it yeah we, we, i think someone mentioned it on ben's show yesterday but I, I wouldn't be surprised uh taking their point that it's kind of a they they all have their individual lines like if it's for the phantom menace and so on and so forth like different anniversaries and different figures but they might include the tag you know the dark side so on and so forth i i wouldn't be surprised we see that uh, i'm hopeful maybe for those who do not have those figures that there is 2.0s but i wouldn't I wouldn't bet on it to be honest i think that the ones that we saw that they haven't made are probably likely uh maybe another mall for the anniversary that you guys were mentioning 25th of the phantom menace so that's something i could see happening but i'm not sure i don't know if we get another count dooku a 2.0 it'd be interesting uh but revan star killer like those figures that they haven't made uh i i, I think that i think those are gonna come <clears throat> yeah I, I can't see them like why would they give us another it doesn't make sense that they would give us a another Darth Vader. There's two on pre-order at the moment. I know one's yeah. out or whatever. It doesn't make sense that uh, they... Okay, it would make sense that they give us a mall, but branded 25th anniversary of episode one. I don't think anyone out there really wants a Kylo Ren. I think you can get them relatively cheap as well. Um, okay, an Emperor. There are people out there who probably want that. But the mm. ones... Starkiller and Revan are the ones that like I have seen people hyped about when they watch that video. What about yourself, Ian? What do you think? Yeah, for me, <clears throat> I don't think all these figures are being re-released like Count Dooku. I've got Count Dooku and it's phenomenal. Yeah, they can approve any figure, but I think they're placeholders. I really do. I think they anchor that image. They've got recently released figures, you know, in terms of the Inquisitor. Um, and Raver, it it doesn't. 
I feel a little bit disappointed. They they promoted Dark Side and they've they're using figures that I don't believe that they will re-release. It's great, Revan, Star Killer, great. I don't like you, Shane. They won't do another Vader in such a close window of release. So where's this going? I, I was thinking Dark Side they would they would do Revan, they would do Star Killer. You know, Asajj Ventress, Oppress, blah blah blah. There's there's various that they could have done if they wanted to go down that route. I don't, but I've got to caveat that I don't know where they're going with this. Um, I do believe that they will finish off the Inquisitors. I think they will release those. They'll not be in. I, I agree with you. I think what they're going to do. This is like remember the Flash, and it had like the Keaton's like armory, and it was all the different suits. But then there was just an event and it was just all those one-to-one suits with just big statues and posters of it. I think that's what's going to happen with this. They're going to bring out, like, say, their old Emperor, their old uh, Dark Maul, their old, you know, they even had, I think, Gideon in the back there. So all the figures they've released from the Dark Side are not even, I know Gideon's not a Force user, but whatever. Um, they're going to take them all out and then you might get new stuff, like, they'll finish the other two Inquisitors. But whereas I think what people want, and again, I don't want them because I don't have a clue who Star, Star Killer is, or I don't know anything about Revan. I don't play the games, so why would I care? But my friends like them, so I'm hoping that they do those because I think that would be your internet breakers. Like if they did a Cal Kestis, I know enough to know that people would be like, this is amazing. But I just can't see them doing that because Hot Toys be Hot Toys. And they'll probably just give us, oh, look at these two Inquisitors. And everyone, some people will want them, and other people will be like, mm-hmm. right. So, yeah. I know, Dan, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I sort of agree with you, Shane. I'm, I'm not, uh, not too, uh, um, uh, I don't really know about Revan and Starkiller, to be honest. I didn't play the games. They look cool, though. That, I mean, but I think I saw in another stream someone um, enhanced the Emperor photo, and it's not the Emperor, it's from the Clone Wars. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's not oh, the... Right. It, it, so that is I don't know which is that is that the one that they released on May the 4th last year the I don't know I don't know which one that could is be, yeah, I, I, could be um, yeah I, I think you're right I think I think I think everyone's calling out for Dooku I've got I've got Dooku but I think a lot of people that missed it it's one of those Grail-esque figures that people would would definitely get again I think he's probably due a, a, a 2.0 or, or, or a re-release but obviously, like you said, Shane, a Kylo Ren, the only one I can imagine they'd do is The Force Awakens, because I think that was a good look with the hood, which they never did. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a bit weird. I think I think I saw someone in the chat saying about that it's more about a, 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 a thing they're having in Hong Kong or something, like a exhibition or something they'll show off more than... You know, release. You know, you know they'll release two like Revan and Star Killer, and then they'll just have all the old figures, you know, all together, just so they make a you know the dark side sort of look. But I, I think I think that you know there's 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 definitely something with the Inquisitors, and I think the uh, the Dooku would be a, a welcome to a lot of people that couldn't get in the first time. However, that picture that was put up is just an old promo picture. It's mm. all been stuck together, so it's interesting. I think I'm a bit disappointed. I'd like to have seen, you know, a bit more um, sort of uh, inspiration with Hot Toys with that. I think it's a bit, you Missed know, apart from obviously, like you said, I don't know Revan or Starkiller, so I'm not getting excited about it. Where a lot of people are, are, are going mad, which is brilliant because, you know, it's it's, it's good to ha- it's good to sort of please people. But for me, it's it's like yeah, it's cool. What comes, comes, if you know what I mean, so. Yeah, I get you. And last but not least, Phil. Um, yeah, you're a Star Wars guy. I'm wondering, is, is there anything there that you're kind of chomping at the bit for a 2.0 or a, a release we've never seen before, anything there that you'd be like, yeah, I'd be, that'd, be a, that'd, be a, that'd be a day one pre-order, man. Yeah, 100%. If I'd love to have a timeline on the shelf. So you've got a Reaver and a Star Killer and a Malgus all the way up to the Emperor, but if it's the Emperor, I'd rather 2.0 or 3.0, whichever it may be. I don't want the Clone Wars version, um, but I'd be all in, yeah. 
as long as they're doing the Sith and they're not doing this because it was wasn't a talk about them doing like you know average characters uh a dark so you know look at dark droids that sort of thing no, i'm not interested in that at all but if it's Sith, i'm all in i'd love to have mm -hmm. a shelf with a Sith timeline and hopefully they'll do a light side because i'd love to have a pro clone kit fist uh kit fist though yeah they're all the ones Jedi's, that sideshow yeah. did yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so and hot toys teased yeah. uh kit fisto anyway kit fisto yeah, all right yeah. so Thanks for that, folks. Uh, just going to do a few basic things here. So, what are you laughing at? Uh, they're asking if Phil is uh, streaming from his lifeguard cabin on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> He's the new uh, Billy Loomis, man. Is it Billy Loomis? Stranger Things? Is that your man? Uh, Billy Loomis? That's... Uh, no, Billy Loomis is Scream, isn't it? It's from it Scream, Billy, yeah. Billy something from Stranger Things Season 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah, love yeah, that. yeah. I love that scene. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, folks, uh, if you're watching us now uh, live, there's 69 people watching live. And uh, if you're watching a replay, whether you're watching live or in a replay, massively appreciated. Uh, if you're getting any sort of value, if you're enjoying the content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already. If you're not one of the 3,179 subscribers, massively appreciated. I didn't think I would get the channel above 100, to be honest. But uh, we got 70 people watching now. That's they're decent numbers for this channel. I do appreciate you all. So at members, we gotta gotta shout out the members. So we got two different tiers, and of course, if you want to become a channel member, it is as usual in the um, link in the live chat there. So the troopers tier, we got Danny Spotchka, we got Ancient Silver Fox channel member and panel member, Jose G Hernandez channel member and panel member Brian Wong. I'm pretty sure um, <clears throat> Ian has put this man's kids through college. We have uh, the <laughs> Ben Thomas Show. We have Eddie Money Mendez, who's usually a, a, a panel member as well. He, uh, can't make it tonight um he might come in later but i think he's working caffeinated comic book fan uh cap sorry caffeinated comic fan jim collector lancelot's nerd corner mugwump and of course mike l and uh ryan smith and then we have the commanders as well Thank you for your ongoing support. Uh, new videos on the channel. Uh, my thoughts on the Wallet Killer. That is the 4000 limited edition DX39 AE, um, which is the uh, artisan. We're going to be talking about later on. Um, big news, big news. Uh, this massive announcement. Uh, just going to show you what this video is. Very, very important. Take this very, very seriously. Yeah, folks, so uh, a lot of people messaged me saying, you know, like, really four figures in a shelf? And I said, no, there's actually six, but you can't see two behind them. You know, the DX-13 and the Spider-Man's behind there as well. So, uh, yeah, I, I will I will definitely not be doing that, folks. That was an April Fool's joke. So, yeah, never going to happen. I did it for Shiny Shiny. I was inspired by Shiny Shiny. Thank you, Shiny. Okay, so then we got, what else do we have? Upcoming streams. We have uh, KG Collector is coming back for a Visions 2.0. So it'll be the second, uh, uh, it was the first person ever had on Visions on episode one and he'll be the, he'll re, uh, he's, he's gonna be, we're gonna reissue him. It's a 2.0 and we're gonna see uh, how his collecting habits have changed in the last two years since the first one. And of course, Mario El Profesoro as well. Uh, it will be joining me on Saturday. And then a big one in as well. Uh, well they're all, they're all um, a, a big uh, interviews and, and really looking forward to them all. And then we have, um, Yoast, uh, a Jazz Inc. interview, so that'll be Thursday week, the 11th, really looking forward uh, 
to that particular um, to that particular interview. Get to I've got some skin in the game now with the uh, Jazz Inc. 89 in order, so I want to pick his brain about various different things. I've been given a list of things to talk about. I've been been made sure to ask him about kit. Um, ask him about the Aston Martin DB5 for Ian. Ask him about um, the uh, Detroit Police OCP cop car. And I know what that several, is now. And several people, <laughs> thank you, thank you. And several people have inquired about um, the three wheel car uh, featured in the Mr. Bean series, a big popular thing, uh, and that Yost could definitely put his, uh, his time and effort into. All right, so we'll get back here again. Who would like to choose? Anyone who hasn't? Someone shout. I'll do it. Early Bitcoin. Let's go, Shane. We'll get this out of the way. So thank you. He's, Ian's taking one for the team there. Right. So every episode of the Hope Show, I buy 10 euro worth of Bitcoin just to see if it's a good idea or a bad idea. Right. So this is the fourth week I've done this. My total investment is 40 euro. And the current value at the time, about three hours ago, is 31 euro and 67. Basically buying at the top. Now, I'm confident if I do this for long enough, six months, a year, 18 months, it'll get to a stage where I'll pretty much double my investment and then I'll, I'll buy a figure out whenever I run a work camp. So that's just, that's pretty much it. So just for a bit of fun, that's what I've been doing. Okay, um, next one, back then to who hasn't chose yet? Or the snap. You're going to snap, okay, right, straight into the snap, so. You love to hate it, Phil. All right, so if this is your first time joining us, uh, this is a thing we do once a week where we put two things together on the screen and you have to decide which one you would Thanos snap out of existence. I made all these with Phil in mind. I just I just had a feeling he'd be joining us today and he'd choose this, so. <laughs> you have to snap either the entire Star Wars IP or the entire Batman IP. That's comics, movies, spin-off TV shows, figures, everything. Pajamas, lunchboxes, gone. So are you going to snap away the entire Star Wars IP? Or are you going to snap away the entire Batman IP? Do you need a moment, Phil? Would I ask Ian first? We can do that. Don't you Can't do. live without my Star Wars pajamas, by the way, Batman. <laughs> that was quick. Batman's gone. Um, Ian. <clears throat> this is this is as evil as the new Scotland hate crime law bill that passed today. This is what are you talking lot... about? <laughs> Actually, maybe we shouldn't get into that. Right, just answer the question. <laughs> We're just going to answer the question. No politics, no religion. Go on. No, it's it's not. Hey, even Elon Musk is tweeting about it, right? Uh... <clears throat> he tweets about a lot of things. Even he would struggle with this one. This is evil. Um, Excellent. G give me, and I, I need ten seconds to think. Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> uh, he looks in physical pain. I mean, I this way more than I And I'm not. And for these noises you're watching, making, yeah. do you want me to? <laughs> these do, noises. Do you, want me to, do you want me to address some of the chats while you have a little tink there? Yeah, yeah. Do that. I'm not <clears> constipated, <throat> everybody. I'm just <laughs> good to know good to know um people who put loads of figures on a shelf will see this and it's like what's the problem yeah when i put up the poll it was like is this real or is this fake and this I, I, when i posted it i thought some people are probably going to interpret that as does this mean i'm a real collector or a fake collector <laughs> but uh, when I put it up anyway, a lot of people said, no, no this is fake because they know that yeah, I, I'm never going to do that. Whatever, but one or two, but not five, six, seven. Um, but yeah, people probably look at that and go, what's the problem? And the thing is, there's no problem. If you like to pack figures into shelves, there's absolutely no problem. So um, it's just uh, yeah, it's a personal choice. Uh, you can fit at least uh, two more in there. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think Grogu counts there in the front. Um, for April Fools, you should have put all your figures in one cube as a channel. I probably have to liquidate them. Shane's turning to the dark side. What else we got? Mario, yeah, I, I thought you wouldn't like this. Tom Daly bought $500 worth of Bitcoin 
and it's at 7,500 still hold. If that isn't a success story, fair play, good stuff. To the moon, man, to the moon. It'll hit 100k. Uh, X-Men Supreme separating the men from the boys today. Oh, I don't know, man, I don't know. Adios, Vader. There's a lot of support from um, f from Batman. I'm blocking everyone who says Star Wars. There's actually a lot of support here. Okay. Ian, you've had enough time. Hey, hey, this is, this is a tough one. Um, I'm snapping Batman. God. Rest in peace. Dan. Um, uh, if I'm snapping Batman because little Dan back in 1980 wouldn't be playing with his Star Wars figures and all that back in the day and I, you know, they were childhood memories for me, mate. I can't, uh, you know, I love Batman, but seeing A New Hope on VHS for the first time, and I think it was about 1980 or something like 81. Can't bring those memories back of collecting and going in the toys because it, it's not just the movies, it's what comes with it for me. Mm -hmm. And it's going in that shop and seeing all those figures on the wall, those little, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, it's a, it's a core memory gone. from your childhood. Yeah, man, I just I just grew up with it. So I like that. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, I think I've, I, I love Batman. I love the everything like that. But for me, Star Wars has been such a part of my life that I can't imagine not it, not having it. So you'd sorry, be, you'd be Batman. basically taking a part of your childhood out. Is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, massively. Yeah. And yeah, and even now, because obviously, I wouldn't have my stormtrooper outfit and. All, yeah, you know, and all yeah, that sort of I stuff, and yeah, I yeah, no. You. So, um, yeah, he's gone. Bruce yeah. is gone. Okay, and finally, Jose Plus. Well, question to add to Mike's point there: If you snap Batman, you're snapping the whole IP. So that means everything that has to do with Batman. So that means Alfred. That means Catwoman. That means every other thing that associated with the Batman IP. Is that correct? Even the shark repellent bat spray. <laughs> it's funny because i have core memories on both uh i was showing you that batmobile yesterday i've had that batmobile since i was a kid so i mean i remember playing with it having the you know having the action figures but then i also remember you know watching the phantom menace you know and all that so um No, uh, this isn't real. It doesn't matter. So whatever. So I'll snap. No, no, Batman. we'll judge you. <laughs> oh, all right, so, uh, gone. Um, yeah, look, yeah, look. There's, there's no right or wrong answers. This is this is a horrible choice. I'm a horrible human being, and this is why I do it to watch people squirm. I'd have to get rid of Star Wars. Yeah, I think uh, like uh, Dan was saying, a lot of the Star Wars stuff is part of his childhood. Um, for me, it was it was the opposite way around. But um, yeah, that's that was awful. That was awful. Okay. Tough to watch, I'd say, guys. Tough to watch. Thanks for the 62 people who are still watching. Okay, you're getting rid of the character Jack Sparrow or Edward Scissor's hands. Let's see how much people like Captain Jack Sparrow. Ian? Uh, snapping Edward Scissor hands. Easy. It don't even be too easy. It probably cut you in two, man, but fair enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. So you didn't even think about that one, Dan? Same. Uh, I've I've seen Edward Scissorhands a few times, but I prefer Captain Jack. Quite easy that one. Okay. Thank God. Um, yeah, and then uh, Phil. I've been Disneyfied for the last ten days, so uh, <laughs> bye bye Edward. Recency bias, I'd say, but okay, fair enough. Um, Jose <laughs> uh, plus. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it might be unanimous because I'm also going to snap Edward Scissorhands. And I am going to get rid of Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, well, I've there we go. I've watched the movies. I've watched each one of those movies once each. I think they get progressively worse. Although I did enjoy the movies. The first one. The first he uh, is the best. Pirates. He's the best part of those movies. Hmm. But I, I mean, he was nominated for an Oscar for the first movie. So. I will tell you, I did not realize that until I heard you say it in the stream. And I was like, that, get mm -hmm. out of town. I had to look it up. And I was like, all right. Why do I do a fact checker? So Shane, um, can I ask, are you saying Johnny Depp as Edward Scissorhands is a better character than Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow? No. No. 
I'm saying that if you take Edward Scissor's hands away, you don't have Edward Scissor's hands the movie, and then I would prefer to revisit and rewatch Edward Scissor's hands than I would any of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Like you, you can't snap Edward Scissor's hand and then have an Edward Scissor's hand movie. Do you know what I'm saying? So him, if I if I was to get rid of him, I couldn't ever watch that movie because it wouldn't be the movie. So um, yeah. I, I would rather go back and watch Edward Scissorhands than any of the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. But I know that that's probably a controversial take because everyone has Captain Jack Sparrow fever at the moment because of the artisan figure, which looks incredible. Can I, like, um, I just on, yeah. check, with Jose, check, check with Jose. Isn't Pirates of the Caribbean the first movie based off a, one of the rides of the theme park? Uh, I mean, I technically live action, I believe so, but there's also that one movie that was based on the log ride, uh, that they, people, that Disney was kind of pushing under because it's kind of races, uh, not to get too oh, much yeah. into it. Song of the you know which one I'm talking about? Samba, Samba, yeah, yeah. Song so that one, so that one is based, what, but now they're changing it to, uh, what's that movie? Princess and the Frog. So they're changing the ride. So technically, I believe that one was first because that ride opened in the seventies, from my understanding. Uh, so, so this one here, you're voting to get rid of just the figure. You're not the movies don't change, the the character doesn't change. It's basically you can only order one of them and you snap the other one away. I have both of these in pre-order. The single rooted Pattinson. And the uh, rooted version of Paul Atreides. I'm going to go last. So, uh, Jose, you have to snap away one of these. What's going to be? You can't own the other one. So they're both rooted, right? So the rooted options? Yep. Like like single single rooted, obviously. Yeah. Well, as I was mentioning earlier, I'm not getting the rooted Batman anyways. So I guess I'll snap that one. So you'd snap the rooted Batman anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I want Phil. I want the Polytrades. Yep. Phil. Um at this stage it's quite easy for me. I get rid of the Polytrades because I haven't seen Dune 2. Yeah. Okay. So sound logic, can't argue with that, Dan. I've not pre ordered Polytrades yet. I've just kept kept it off because I didn't want to get hyped up and order it and then regret it later just because it wouldn't go in my um my collection so and i've similar to jose i've, I've ordered the um sculpted batman so hmm. yeah I'll probably get rid of the batman just because i'm getting the sculpted not the rooted so yeah so it's a little bit of a cheat i suppose because it's fair know. it's fair yeah it's yeah. fair <laughs> um, you know we can do that so <laughs> but yeah get rid of the um what did he say he's the... gonna snap the rooted because he's getting the sculpted yeah, <laughs> that's loud, isn't it? <laughs> okay, okay. Come on, Ian, you didn't say it was it. That. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I, I, I'm the same. I'm still not 100. percent I'm going to get the Paul Atreides yet. Um, I've got a few more. I think it stays on uh, kit for a little while longer than he normally says, doesn't it? So I'm just going to. Anyway, I'm babbling. Yeah, you know what I'm doing. Okay, um, Ian. Yeah, snapping Batman. Um, not getting that. Pre-ordered Paul Atreides. I've got the Hot Toys Batman. Good enough for me on my bat cycle. All good. Okay. Uh, finally, I would get rid of the rooted Batman because I do have the Hot Toys one arriving and uh, yeah, I want to get the Paul. But um, yeah, look, I, again, to reiterate what I said about the images that we saw today from Minart, I do think we're going to see more images and I do think it will be... Uh, a bit come too early to judge him on what we saw today so hopefully everything will be alright but yeah in terms of this one I keep the poll because I have the Hot Toys version um, on order alright so we'll go back and uh, we'll take a look again and Ian would you do you have to dip out uh, Phil or are you good for another few minutes sorry good for a few minutes five, five ten minutes okay so you can choose uh, you may as well choose the next uh, topic so did you want to leave the jack till last? Um, no, we can talk about that now if you want. Yeah, with Jack's balance, cool. please. Right. 
it's been it's been talked to death but uh look we'll, we'll get some quick thoughts anyway i kind of want to start off with someone who got the artisan so anyone on the panel actually have the artisan uh locked in me so ian and jose i'm gonna start off with you jose because i think you actually did the sideshow queue did you i did mm -hmm. okay give actually, us your thoughts about the process and what you think yeah actually uh i was mentioning it yesterday but i felt more relaxed because of the options that we had for the sculpted so we had the sculpted deluxe and the standard uh sculpted versions so I went into it a lot more relaxed than the Anakin, which uh, ultimately I did not get and I'm still upset about. But uh, with this one, I, I went into it and I actually went into it uh, just in case Ian wanted it. So Ian is still there if you want it, but I know you you went through, through someone else. So uh, I ultimately I went in just for fun to see if I would get it. And if I get it, I get it. That's kind of <gasps> my, that that's mentality. That's frowned upon. That I know, frowned right? frowned upon. How dare you use the internet in your own house, you maniac. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, 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 but you nose. know what because i ultimately because i just felt like i'll be satisfied with the sculpted deluxe or standard if i want to go with the cheaper option and i felt like i'd be okay with either or but uh, you know a little part of me when i saw the the, the you know artisan version was like hey that looks really nice uh, it's you know uh, it's something that i haven't had an artisan uh, i haven't got an artisan figure any of them in the queues that i've actually tried for so uh, it was kind of oddly satisfying to, to actually get it. And so I think I ultimately I'm going to keep it. Uh, so, uh, you know, I just think it's incredible, but I, I, I don't think that you're losing if you ended up going for the sculpted. My only concern with the artisan, because the bandana is real cloth, uh, is it going to hold all that hair in place or is it going to be loose? That's my concern there. Uh, but other than that, uh, um, I think this is... Uh, I think this is a win for everyone, for all collectors, whether you get the artisan or not. So, like, you kind of went into the queue going, I'll get the, the DX. But then when you managed to get this, you're like, okay, super, I'm going to keep it. Yeah. That was the, yeah. And did you, do you still have the DX, the deluxe version, on order as well? No, no, I didn't. I did, actually didn't order. I just waited and uh, I, I, I just went for the artisan and I, since i got the artisan i didn't put an order for well, the that other makes one, sense so. that makes sense yeah. you got it and you, you you know you were going to get one of the figures anyway yeah, happy days congratulations yeah. good stuff yeah. ian what's up well firstly thank you to jose thinking about me more than anybody else from the hope show this of course, this, this he knows figure, the, he know. knows well, that you, i don't need it I, I i saw how much you wanted it so i was like if i get and he <laughs> wants it that it, there it is you know no, just tell everybody you prefer me more than everybody else. Just be honest. <laughs> Fact oh, <me>. yeah. <laughs> no, so I, I actually nearly screwed up with this. I, I, I don't know if Calvin's still in the chat. We were talking and I really want this. I'm a big Johnny Depp fan. Um, I'm like everybody else. I liked the f I really liked the first Caribbean's movie. The second one was good, and then it just disintegrated. Um, and without Johnny Depp, it's trash. So, um, big Johnny Depp fan. Want this? I didn't pick up the original or the two previous versions. Um, the artisan looked amazing. So when Kit pushed out two links, I thought I was ordering the artisan. And ordered it and it was the deluxe which i think still fantastic if the artisan wasn't here i would be w more than happy to have that i think in fact all three skews are fantastic um but then when i realized i'd made a mistake i was like Shit. i wasn't going into the sideshow event so I ordered from another company and had to pay everything up front just to secure it which is annoying mm. And then what's even more annoying is that company after the sideshow event increased their prices 10%. So I don't like that. It's no good for the collecting community. But in fairness, why it, is a company a company? What is their goal? It, yeah. Here, like what is their the goal? What is the goal of any company? Uh, to run your business long term. But in the collecting community, it's all it's a, to, it's a to lot make of it's money, trust. Man. To make money. A lot of, yeah, and they know people are going to buy it. Look, look what happened to Toys Wonderland. But it wasn't just their prices what was the issue. 
It was they're, they're uh, not shipping it, it, things. It was that they were giving you false. Uh, they were taking pre-orders for things they didn't have. They were not re- giving people the option to refund their money. There was there was no there was a, a, a string of things that happened there. But like these these resellers, it's, it's, it's frustrating when they put up the price. But I mean, toys buying agents are very reputable and they do it too. And their whole goal is to make money, like you know, and they're just playing the game. Do you know? Listen, just for I'm listening. everybody I'm to listening. know, I've I've ordered a lot from Pop. Absolutely had no issue to date. Touch wood. You know, I buy from several people. I've been collecting for a long time. I'm a, I'm a veteran collector. Um, so, nobody's going to scare me off buying from a certain place anymore. You know, I'll, I'll buy where I think is right. I was happy with the price I bought from Pop. No issue. I know I'll get the figure. There's mm-hmm. no doubt about it. So, um, I get all that. Out. I get all that. I, ju- I just don't entirely agree with you on the ten percent thing. I think that's a lot of companies do the, that. It, and so he, there to make here's money. Th- so here, here's. Don't want to go off on a tangent, but here's my thing. Because there's a common denominator with Toys Wonderland and Pop, and then when you throw certain things in, some people have had a bad experience with Pop. In fact, everybody's had a bad experience with everybody, right? Sideshow, the lot, whatever. But for me, when you're automatically putting your price up after an event, you're not instilling the confidence in the community that's needed after thousands of collectors have been burnt by Toys Wonderland. So for me, the business model is about integrity in the long game, especially in the community, this collecting community. That's that's where my head's at. But supply and demand business, absolutely. But they they've they make the wrong decisions, in my opinion. Kind of reminds me of the five dollar thing with Sideshow. You guys remember that from like mm-hmm. a few months ago when they they increased the prices by five dollars. They didn't give any heads up, and then I remember a lot of us were upset about that uh, because you know they're like, well, we sh- they should have said something. They should have sent an email. They should have said <clears throat> order by this date, which I think would have been effective because if you told me, hey, you'll save five dollars if you order by t- by tomorrow, then I might might have put my pre order in before, right? Um, so I don't know. And, and, and Jose, it's like. Captain Jack Sparrow, a bit of the shine's taken off this. This is an app. I'm so happy that Hot Toys are doing this, and I'm so happy that they're doing three SKUs. Normally, I don't like multiple SKUs, but for this type of figure, I'm really happy because it caters across the spectrum to an element. And it's, it's fantastic, so I think a lot of people will pick up what they feel really happy with. It I disagree does. with Costa's comment here, or Randall. I'm sorry, no, that's not a secret, is it? Um, I, I didn't know who Randall was the other day uh, on our <laughs> live stream. And I then, saw the um, puppet. <laughs> and then, uh, who was it? Uh, Ian was explaining it, it's Costa or whatever. But I don't think all resellers are, are kind of scalpers because some resellers sell, sell stuff under under retail when you know when stuff is sitting or they sell stuff at retail or maybe a little bit above. Like I don't think they're all... I don't, I don't, I, I don't agree with that comment. To be honest, like a scalper is like someone who, I suppose you you go in, you buy all these things uh, that you know are going to be um, in demand, and then hike up the price immediately. Which is, I suppose you check eBay now for that Umbra Trooper, or I imagine you check eBay now for the Jack Sparrow. You probably see it for eight, nine hundred dollars or whatever. So, I don't think all resellers. I wouldn't consider a uh, toy buying agent a scalper but they are a business and they're 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 going okay this is in demand so you increase it i guess i'm a lot colder than ian basically when it comes to this it's kind of like i have something you want i determine the price you don't have to buy from me but i have it and until someone gives me the price i want it remains with me if someone doesn't if, they, if everyone bands together and be like nope we're not going to buy from them then you put me in a position where the thing that I have that you want, that you won't buy from me, I'm going to have to drop the price a bit, you know? So I guess I'm a lot colder 
when it when it comes to that, you know, we were just kind of seeing things from a different point of view, I suppose. Uh, we have to agree to disagree on that one, respectively. And um, so, all good. Uh, yeah, all good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call you out as soon as uh, we finish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put up an Instagram post about you, but it'll be cryptic. It might have a Scottish love, flag on it, a fox, I'd love it. a secret love it. agent, do you know, someone with magic cases behind them. Um, being a scalper doesn't uh, always necessarily mean selling things above price. They take stock by having old ladies wait in line so the normal folk can't get the figure. That's been going on for like years i know that yeah. toys wonderland have done it I, I i i would assume a lot of companies actually do it do you know then again a lot of those old people are happy enough to take the 20 dollars and stand in line uh, i was talking to joao and apparently it's just a, th- a thing that they do i mean they're, get, they're mm-hmm. getting paid for it uh do i agree with it no not necessarily but uh, i think a lot of companies are doing that I was just about to compliment Phil on his lovely shirt, and now he's. I know. I was about to say damn something it. too. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> he's like, he looks fresh, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Randall wants to come on. Send Randall, him a link. He said. <laughs> is, is is this Randall, Randall, or is it is it is it Costa? So, I don't know. Either way, I'm curious. <laughs> no, Shane, it's it's Randall, and you've just got your face up with you've got some absolute little purple deviant with some guy's hand up his right. ass <laughs> yeah okay right so if if you want to send the message to randall who is costa um if randall's coming on now this is a family show right so we're going to keep it at pg please or i will just kick you out okay so will somebody actually hook up uh, costa there so or randall it's gonna be very hard to take this thing seriously but uh yeah right so the next thing we're going to talk about. Anyone? Dan, I don't think you've chosen a while. Uh, special delivery. What you get new this week, Dan? What's that? What did you get new this week or in the last uh, few weeks? Since we not seen? much. This could um, be a long list. No, 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 it's not. It's not. I've had a long break, actually. I'm actually selling some things, surprisingly. <laughs> So, uh, All right. Well, that's you can explain about them as well if you want. No, no. Well, no. I've just, I've just since I getting the DeLorean, I've wanted to sort of go for a little bit more of the sort Mm-mm. of classic, classic sort of figures that mean a bit more to me than you know the Mandoverse and things like that. So um, I've just sold this week. I've sold. Um, I'm just sort of thinning that out a little bit. I've sold like Moth Gideon. Um, what else did I sell? Oh, Cad Bane. So I've, I've posed him once, left him in the same pose. Just thought I'd want to get rid of him. And the armourer, sold the armourer. And then I've just <clears> picked <throat> up the classic Predator from Predators, um, which is oh, awesome. from Predators. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to get the, I think it's the, um, the uh, is it Dave Apro. Uh, he does the sets like with the skulls and everything. And like the, the mask like to be more, for the sort of uh, original 1987 Predator. So I'm going to get that. And then I put it in the group. I picked up a um, loose DX13 this week for um, quite a good price, actually. So uh, pretty happy with that. So yeah, that's that's coming in the collection. So I haven't spent a lot of money. I've just sort of sold to buy. Um, good stuff. But we were talking about, uh, you know, do you not mind buying loose figures? And for me, I don't mind it. it it's as long as it figure itself is good condition and the accessories that i want are there it, you know it's it depends on which deal is you see you know what you buy but for me it's never been a problem but and you know picking up a, a dx13 and arnie that's not got any um flaking or you know the 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 the, the accessories that came with it were the ones that i'd actually use then i it mm-hmm. was it was a no-brainer for me mm-hmm. and and the dx13 is one of the I suppose it's uh, kind of. I suppose it, I hate saying the the G word, the Grail word, but I suppose it's kind of one of the last remaining Grails. Really, it's a it's a beautiful piece. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and and the thing is in good condition, and like you said, you have what you want with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's you know, it's never been a problem mm-hmm. for me, and and you know, even some of the figures in the past, like I've got the Emperor here, um, mm-hmm. and I sold the chair because I did for, for space. 
and I sold it with the box. So, you know, I've got an emperor here that's loose. It just doesn't bother yeah. me. It's, it's yeah, not one of those, if, if someone wants to buy it, they'll buy it. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's in good condition, yeah. then you, can, you might lose a little bit without the box, but. Yeah, and like a lot of people ex... actually who buy loose, I've heard, I'm pretty sure Graham, the Jedi Knight's Watch, bought a figure loose and then went and just bought the box separately. And now he has he had everything yeah, in that box. Yeah, you can do that. Shelly, yeah. and the, but there's other, people in the, there's other people in the community that are actually getting rid of all their boxes. Yeah, so yeah it, absolutely. So it's great. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm, I've got a loft, so I put stuff in the loft. It's not mm -hmm. damp, it's not too bad. But I can see where people have got haven't got that space that can be a mm -hmm. bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. Yep. No, I get you. What about yourself, uh, Ian? Nothing in other than getting peace and quiet since the missus and the kids are away in Spain. So it's been good. It's been better than getting a figure in. <laughs> I've got to I really, eat I really, what I want. really hope Lucy doesn't ever watch this show. But it, no, but here, here's the thing. She's gone on <clears> a total <throat> vegetarian, vegan thing lately, so I've managed to indulge in some meat-based steaks food. Yes, you, 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 you went full steaks. on full red on. meat eating alpha male this week, yeah. was it? Yeah. Steak and tatties. Woof, woof. <laughs> You're going to have to explain <laughs> what tatties means there. Um, you're talking potatoes, I presume. Potato. Potatoes, yeah. Potato, yeah. Uh, yeah All okay. kinds of potatoes. <laughs> Boiled, baked. Do you, you, you have potatoes for second breakfast, is what you're saying? <laughs> but it's been good. All right. What about yourself, uh, yeah. Jose? Is this a custom? Yeah, this is uh, this is the one I was uh, yeah. The, that's when he picks up the phone. Remember in the in the movie, he picks up the phone. He overhears uh, really Lori. Nice. Yeah, this one is made. I wanted to give him a shout out. Darko Customs, so D A R C O Customs. He made this uh, custom. Well, it's actually the uh, Trick or Treat Studios Michael Myers from 1978 film, and uh, I basically just uh, I changed the body. The, the suit is a more like the green gray one uh, from mm -hmm. the accessory pack, which also gives you the phone, the pumpkin, and the Judith uh, Myers uh, uh, tombstone. And so I sent him the sculpt and he repainted it and he added the rooting. And that's what you're seeing here. So the, sc the want to sculpt give him a itself shout out. from that figure, the sculpt itself is a, a really good sculpt, isn't <laughs> it? It's just the paint that lets it down. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, I sent that to him. Uh, yeah, it, it it was it was definitely an investment to make this kind of like my perfect version of the 1978 Michael Myers. But uh, ultimately, I think I'm really really happy with it. I think this is to add it to like my movie icon section. I think I, I'm I'm very satisfied with this. So this is what I got in the Batmobile. I mean, not the Batmobile. The Bat Pod came in, which we talked about finally. Excellent. I have it here, waiting for Catwoman to release to finally ship. Pretty cool. I don't know it? what's going on. Yes, very very cool. It took me a while to figure out how to put the little bars. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I couldn't. They, the directions are not great on that. So yeah. I was actually I'm having to read the I'm directions. Pick that up, I think the pod. I've got because yeah. I've yes. got Catwoman. So I've got the new Catwoman there, so I, I Makes think perfect I'll pick sense. Yeah. That's yeah. Yes. Nice. I, I, Christian's saying I should get a metal, a metal knife. I'm definitely looking into it. For now, I'm just, I have them with the phone because I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, so I'll leave them like that for now, but I'm definitely going to look into getting like a, a more actual uh, metal looking die cast, maybe even a knife for him. So there's, a, there's actually a really cool, uh, I think you've seen it, Dan. I think I saw you comment on it. They're making like a custom lorry. That looks really cool. Yeah, man, that's uh, really so, good. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, going to be so. expensive though. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm about, sure. About ten run. So yeah, yeah, I saw that, man. That looks amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then lastly, uh, Tina got back to me with Kate. Uh, she's behind me there. You can't barely see her there, but uh, got back with me with Kate, uh, and she uh, rooted Kate for me. So that definitely oh, makes was that, that yours. Yeah, that was oh, mine. Oh, that so. looked great, man. That looked wicked. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that she's one was brilliant, mine. isn't she? Tina's yeah. so good. Have yeah. you got your Bo-Katan yet? Did you get Bo-Katan? No, she's going to work on Bo-Katan for me, but she has a huge list. So I know. I keep uh, yeah, asking. Yeah. I keep dropping the. She she's not opening anything up at the moment, and I've yeah. got a couple of things that I want to get done. So yeah, yeah <laughs> the toys good. wonder. <laughs> that, that, that shiny, shiny man. That, that is. He's, uh, the only thing Thank I you. got in nothing six scale or anything like that, but um. 
I uh, yeah, I, I got the <laughs> Messiah book because I, I just as soon as I finish reading the first one, I want to be tucked into this one as well. It's a lot shorter book actually, and the font's a lot bigger. It's a quick flick through the font on this. It's a lot bigger and it's a, it's a lot skinnier book than the, the first Dune book. So um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the first one. So hopefully, it's finished that. I'm going to uh, tuck into that. Now this is not how I show, thought this show was going, but we have a a person. Um, I don't want to assume this person's species or whatever, but look, we're just gonna, th- this is this is Randall. Let's just see how this goes. Randall, how are you? Hello! <laughs> Hello! Rando! Rando! Oh, my favorite people, 1 6 collectors. I love <laughs> 1 6 collectors. Look! Did... I've got an arm. I've got an arm now. I can do things with Rando, my arm. Where, where's your other arm? <laughs> Hey, hey, is this it, is, a is it hidden? No, sir. We're at, what's it, uh, 529 East Coast. We, we only Randall. do PG here, sir. Are, are you, are, do you collect all sorts of scales or is it just exclusively six scale? Oh, I love the six scale. I gave up on uh, three and three fourths years ago because Hasbro wanted to make exclusives for everything and then throw them in board games. Who's going to get a figure in the Freaking board game! Come on. So you're anti-exclusive then? I am very anti-exclusive. I'm 200 years old, and I don't have time for this crap. You know, I don't. I don't want to wait in line. Uh, I am. Do- I'm done with the hunt. My hunting days were in the early 90s and uh, 2000s. That's a long time ago. You know, it's a lot of collecting. A lot of. It's collecting. a good. It's a good time for music, though. Oh. Amazing time for music. Who would be it, your favorite bands, uh, Randall? Oh, that one's easy. Uh, I like what I pretty much like what Costa likes. Nine Inch Nails is number one. <laughs> number one. One. I love the Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> I, I think you're like speaking, speaking my language. Black as your soul. I'd rather die than give Toys Wonderland control. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, once you don't start singing closer, we're all good. But I completely agree with your musical oh, taste. No, honestly, Can you, um, uh, closer, you, you, you were bored. saying, I'm a little bored sorry? with closer. <laughs> I'm a little bored with the closer. It was played out in the 90s. True, true, true. So look, we actually welcome differing opinions here. Um, like earlier on, myself and uh, Ian were had a completely polar opposite view on... Um, and I was on, right. On, 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 <laughs> <laughs> and he thinks he's right. So, um, you said send send me the link because you said that you think all resellers are scalpers. What what, what do you mean by that, Randall? Well, let, let's look at it here for a second. And I I'm with you too. I'm I'm open to other suggestions, but you're all wrong. Uh, <laughs> y- y- I'm always hey. right, and you're wrong. But I'm open to it. I'm open to hey, you. Hey, Randall, you, you've got you've got a, a garage shelf display with whips we're right and you're wrong (laughs) that's my wife's come on let's not bring her into this picture i had to (laughs) escape the dungeon to get here all right and not the good one the the bad dungeon if you know what i mean (laughs) that's where we put the kids in time out (laughs) (laughs) there's no windows i love you Anyway, Which... as I was saying, let's give some examples here. <laughs> I'm a ticket scalper, right? I buy, I got a bot, and I buy all the tickets in the good places, right? But then the concert doesn't turn out to be good. And I have to sell them at the fair market value. But I still bought all the tickets. And didn't let those other people buy the tickets. So, if I have old ladies waiting for me in line, what about the poor people in Hong Kong that have to wait 10 hours for the figures, right? They're waiting 10 hours because grandma and grandpa are buying stuff for Toys Wonderland. Also, uh, these tend to sell out. This is not the old days. This is not the days of not pre-ordering. You have to pre-order to get your figures nowadays. And if somebody's... I mean, what's the difference between Toys Wonderland having a bot and buying all the stuff up? Or 
having people wait in line and buying all the stuff up. Yeah, maybe they overbuy and sometimes you make a bad investment, but it's still buying a lot of stuff illegally. But legally. But Ill against not legally law ways, but illegally because uh, the uh, Hot Toys has rules. And did you see those people with the Umbra Troopers in the in the mall? That yeah. was like boxes and boxes. So why is he a scalper? And then Toys Wonderland, who also has the Umba Trooper in boxes and boxes, not a scalper. Hmm. But couldn't hmm. some of those same people? Hmm. We don't. We hmm. we don't know who they're working for. I'm not used to this arm. Sorry. This arm is really. It's it's it has a mind of its own. I don't I don't know what's going on. Now, if I'm an individual and I get one or two and I want to sell it for a high price, that's a different story. I'm not buying the whole stock. If I if if Toys Wonderland could or Pop Collectibles, they would have as many people there as they could hire and buy and just buy it all up. Be the only supplier. Only supplier. That's so you you've no problem it. say Look like if I had um Let's say I bought two Gandalfs and I brought one yeah. to rock and one to stock and exactly. I left one there and I kept it for a year and then it goes up to fifteen hundred dollars, maybe three times the price I paid for it. And I'm that like, you know what? Helping. I need I need to offload this so I can fund my, I know, in our Batman. So you would say that's not a scalper then. Did right? you see the in our Batman? His nose is off. I'm sorry. <laughs> Robert Pattinson. Where, your that nose wasn't is Robert off. Pattinson. That was Norbert <laughs> Pattinson, his brother. He does the yeah. stunt doubles. You never see him on camera because he doesn't have a good kisser. I have a question for you, which I'm, sure. I'm probably going to regret saying this, but is there any chance you'd like to come on an episode of Visions and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation at some point? Could you do this for an hour? <laughs> I'm in I'm in yes, I would totally do this for an hour. I love one six scale collecting. It is the best collection. Something tells me that will get a lot of views, Randall. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, I, 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 I just think, yeah, I, I think you're onto honored, something. Sir. Yeah, I would yeah, be yeah, honored, yeah, and I love yeah. the Irish. I love the Irish. Just Who doesn't? Sure you know that. My wife is part Irish, and uh, I can, I mean, you can tell hey. because she drinks a lot. Like every night. I know it's a stereotype, but in my wife's case, it's true. Some stereotypes is, exist for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 part of part of the culture over here. She can so drink your wife is hey, part of Drink me she's under the Randall. table. But she's Randall. beautiful and dominating. Randall. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> Hence the whips. Yes. Sorry. We won't talk question. about the whips. You have yeah. a question for Randall? Um, yeah, yeah, I did. That's like I, I taught you. You don't say y yes, I know. You can what I mean. You know what I mean. Remember, <laughs> you can what I mean. Yeah, can what I mean. I prefer yada mean personally, but uh, whatever. It's uh, it's preference. That's because Scottish, you're Greek. Uh, this is spot. Wait, wrong movie. That's not Braveheart. <laughs> That's a true movie, by the way. 300. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a real movie there. You want to talk about accurate depiction of Greek culture and the evils of the Persian army, go to 300. It's so accurate. I'm really glad you didn't say Russell Crowe in Thor 4. Love and oh. <laughs> no, uh, his accent was okay, but uh, I heard that. He, I heard his he accent was quite good. His, he could have lost a little pounds. I'm not fat shaming. I'm just saying, you got to He's a god. He's Zeus for God's sakes. Why couldn't you work out like every other Marvel person? Marvel true superheroes work out, you know. So do you want to hang around for the rest of the show, or do you do you want to get like, your 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 friends the Costa guy? Would you prefer to do the show like this or? Is Costa Costa around, or is it? Do you want to go Randall? You're Hold two on, different people, obviously. Add. Yeah, do it. No, do it. Do it. 
He's torn. He's torn. Wait. Give me a moment. Give me a okay. moment. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Shane, Shane, all I'm thinking about is remember when you done what shit collectors say. Do 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 do. Phenomena. Do 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 do. That's amazing. This guy just got this brand new, brand brand new person into the uh, the six scale community. I, I never really heard him up until Saturday night. He commented on one of the videos, and then Ian said he was friends with Costa or something like that. So uh, yeah, it'd be great to have him on an episode of Visions, like you know, just to just to chat shit for uh, an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah. So like, ah, oh, Costa, oh. you're here. We were just chatting to your oh. mate. Are you mates? You had me laugh Late, related? Closet. No, shit. Oh. Put, put Randall back on. Son of a Please put Randall back on. <laughs> <laughs> He's a handful, okay? And we're talking about. Oh man, that was a laugh uh, I needed. A, we're talking about oh. um, what are we? What are we talking about here? We're talking about a, a child. We kids could come on at least on the East Coast because. If they're up in Ireland or or, uh, mm-hmm. or the UK, they need to. It's uh, it's ten forty. It's time to get mm-hmm. rolling into bed, there, kids. Oh no, most of the kids in Ireland are drunk. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, stereotypes. And Scotland. No, I'm I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I do, I do, yeah. I do mess around with my wife because she of her Irish heritage. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. she is like, yeah, she she uh- loves her. She got I'm, me into wine. I mean, she's like, like a wine connoisseur. So, you know, I'm confused. Like, the Irish aren't. Um, I don't. I don't think as as a as a nation. I, I, yeah, no. I think because our 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 sense of humor <laughs> is quite yeah. raw, and we say some some messed up stuff, but it's just a joke. Like, so yeah, I think yeah, like yeah. It's hard to. F- like, I'm, I can't generalize that, but I think it, yeah, in general, I think it's it's we're not as easily as offended. You know, like, like we. You kind of get on. I think the Scottish are like that. It's only the English are like that as well. Definitely, like yeah. But but I'm confused. Yeah. Is is <clears throat> is Rand? Does Randall also have a wife that's Irish, half Irish? Yeah, Irish? it's crazy. It's her sister. It's half Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah she oh. does. Yeah. But she's um, she's very demanding and requires a lot of his time. So whenever he's in a stream, he 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 escaped. He got away mm-hmm. uh, for a little bit of time. Um, so and whenever she's out. So when she's out, he's uh, he's like, yes, I can, I can, I, can, I have the freedom. He's, he's free. He hides his figures. It's great. He has his own closet over here. It's a, uh, it's, it's a full house, full house. So Costa, um, did you get anything new? I know I haven't, we haven't streamed together in a while, but like, did uh, you, do you have any, yeah. anything new this week or in the last few weeks uh, that you're excited to about? think, did I get anything new? I did, uh, I pre-ordered the Artisan, uh, mm-hmm. Jack. Um, what else did I get? There was something. Oh, uh, it's not here yet, but um, the uh, So So Toys Old Man Logan. So I'm mm-hmm. excited oh. about that one. Uh, that one is, it looks great. It's one of my favorite um, books because uh, it, it's bad. It's crazy. It's a, it's, it's a nut, nutty <laughs> story and I love it. So, I've heard it's kind of. I've heard it's a bit crazy. All right, the old man. The, is that the comic that the old man Logan figure is based on? Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. on the first comic, first run. Gotcha. Because they did a second run uh, that I started to read, and then I'm like, uh, I don't. It doesn't feel as like the, it did it, you know, the ori- did it, original. Didn't so so kind of take some liberties though? Like they kind of made it their own, so it wouldn't be like super like comic, like it kind of like their own yeah. version yeah, of, yeah, the, yeah, of the yeah, old yeah. man Logan. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. There's definitely some. Uh, although I think the jacket is correct. I'll have to go back downstairs and look. I, like, I have it. It's the. I have the hardcover sitting next to my bed. So that's how much I like this comic. Yeah, so it's a great comic. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, any anytime you you have Wolverine, uh, spoiler alert, go into the Hulk and burst out of his stomach. That's uh, that's that's a <laughs> yeah. winner. Um, and I would really, I would love to see if they could translate that on, uh, in live action film in live yeah. action, but, but you know, Deadpool they, three, you never know. You never know. Ending goes. Oh my gosh. Oh dudes. That you, yeah. yes, I would, I'm, there's, there's that would be two, awesome. two topics left. Um, 
so like we'll leave the last one we'll leave the art someone to last that was kind of like the main topic of the show but like uh just a real quick one folks a random movie recommendation from everyone on the panel does anyone have one that they'd be able to throw out there giving everyone else a bit of time to think not a movie recommendation but i'm on the latest season two episode nine it's called tokyo vice Mm -hmm. So, um, Ken Watanabe and uh, the guy from Baby Driver, Elder. Ansel. Ansel, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a strange name. So, um, really good. This is like American journalist in Japan with the restrictions reporting on crime with the Yukaza. Um, it's it's really good. Ken Watanabe is brilliant in it. So it was about a year ago, two years ago, first season, and then this season I'm on the penultimate. I think <laughs> it's awesome. Really good, really good drama. So I recommend that if you can watch it. Give us the name again there. Uh, Tokyo Vice. Tokyo Vice. Excellent. Anyone else have one that springs to mind? Uh, having Randall on, <laughs> I don't know if I would recommend it so much, but it made me think of the Happy Time Murders. You guys ever seen that movie? I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Made by the Jim Henson was. Company. Yeah, I, be yeah. I believe it's Jim Henson's son who directed that movie or wrote it at least. Um, yeah, very odd movie, but uh, <laughs> it has puppy uh, puppets going uh, a little wild there. I, I yeah I, I've seen it I think I think I, I, it made me laugh it was quite funny. I I thought that like they needed to be smarter with the jokes because I think they were just like all right let's just put Muppets a, adult and then there you go you try to do everything you know a, a, that's adult but uh but yeah I I, I, I if you've ever seen through it. I like it. You, took 45 minutes in, I was like, I can't do this anymore. What's going on, Jim Henson's company? I, I don't particularly like Melissa McCarthy. I, her humor just doesn't mm. make me laugh that much. But I, I did like the concept of the movie. And I definitely, there was definitely some parts which I had to laugh at. But um, you weren't yeah. fully sold in it, so, uh, Cass. Yeah, no. It I, also I, reminds I, me I, of the, uh, the, the, there's the, the Buffy spinoff Angel. They had a, a puppet episode. I don't know if, Cass, have you ever seen that? Uh, no, it, it was I called uh, it's called smile time uh, the main character turns into a puppet uh, it's it's really really funny uh, very similar uh, and he's like a vampire so it's like anyways it's very it's that's actually a really good episode excellent stuff so what about yourself Dan any uh, movie you saw recently um, or even like a long ago that you'd be like yeah check this I, out. I, well the thing uh, it, for me it's Wrestlemania, WrestleMania week so if you're into WWE or the old stuff, it's a good time to oh, go on YouTube man. or the network, start watching some old stuff, get into it for a good weekend. I'm looking forward to it. It's it's here in Philadelphia. Oh it's, man. It's literally right down the street from me. So yeah. is it start is there a buzz? Is there a vibe about yeah, it? Yeah, there there's a buzz, there's a events happening. Uh I, I saw one where Ric Flair's doing a barbecue. Oh like, wow. Wow. All right. <laughs> At some place we can go pay and have barbecue food with Ric Flair. Woo! Yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for me, it's that's what I'm doing this week. I'm just re watching some bits, and there's a few biography things online. Vice of doing the Dark Side of the Ring. So I've been watching that as well. That's good. Um, but yeah, just looking forward to it. I know you got not a lot of you guys are into it, but. Um, this is like the the Super Bowl weekend for wrestling yeah. fans, isn't it? So it's a, it's, it's a big it's, weekend. And the Rock's it's the back. Biggest entertainment company in the world, is that right? Yeah, they've just hit a hundred uh, million I, subs on uh, YouTube as well, haven't they? So. One hundred million. Yeah, yes, that's insane. Man. Yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah. It's, I'm looking forward to that. Jose, you're a fan as well, aren't you? Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. It'd be good. Yeah, the like the, the rock's back. He's gonna be. He's actually wrestling. He's not even. He's not just an yeah, appearance. He's actually wrestling. Good, so, mm -hmm. mm, excited. Excellent stuff. Anyone else have a random movie uh, recommendation? Or I think this Costa. I, I don't have. Him? I don't have a movie, but um, uh, it's a recommendation that I never thought I would 
really be into, but my wife is into anime. And um, we made a deal. I said, watch, I, John Wick 4 was coming up. I said, hey, you wanna please watch John Wick with me? And then she goes, I'll watch John Wick with you if you watch Demon Slayer with me. So I was like, okay. So it worked out great because she loved the first John Wick. The second one was okay. She thought the third one was okay, but the fourth one she loved too. So like the first and the fourth one she was totally into and she could relate to uh, because she had her previous husband passed away and you know, the whole storyline, she got it. Um, Demon Slayer, love it. If you have not seen it, get Crunchyroll or it's on Netflix, I think. I, I, I don't remember. It's such a beautifully made cartoon anime with like the themes and it's it's really uh, crazy because like when they end up killing a, the demon, you find out this backstory from it, and either you feel sorry for them or you've it's there's it, it's such a well written, uh, well acted. Um, it's it's good. Demon Slayer. I, it's on the fourth season. Uh, coming up in april i believe april or may so yes that's my recommendation demon Excellent slayer stuff. um the uh this was gonna ref yeah i am um, at the weekend I, I i well the last few days i i went home to uh where my parents live and um there's a there's still a bunch of dvds belonging to me that i was like okay i like i don't collect dvds anymore i stopped collecting dvds and just went uh, apple tv because you know quality is still good and i save space but um a certain member of the one six scale community gifted me a beautiful beautiful uh box set of what's called uh this 4k blu-ray ultra hd and now i'm on this weird buzz i had to go out and buy a blu-ray pair because i didn't thanks this is all ian's fault by the way this is all ian's fault very very kind <laughs> but then i had to go out and get a blu-ray player because i had nothing to play them and i was like right okay i may as well go back and get those dvds because at least if i want to play them and i just like put them all out and i was like right okay this is this is this is how I decided which ones would be sold and which ones would actually come here to here to the house with me. Would you entertain the thought of buying the Blu-ray of this? Yes. Then it stays. No. Nope. Then it goes. This is this is Ian has got me a new addiction now. Damn you! But I love you. Um, but yeah, the um, the the recommendation is uh, <laughs> Whiplash, uh, a movie about um, mm -hmm. a essentially an aspiring drummer. Miles and Teller, he, he really, really good, and he uh, he gets into this prestigious uh, music school. Is it in New York? I think it's in New York, and it's the relationship between him and the, uh, I suppose, the head conductor of this. Um, there, it's an orchestra he's involved in, and it's yeah, it's it's so goddamn good. Just uh, that's know. yeah, it's so good. I I to add to it, uh, there that scene where he breaks up with his girlfriend. Uh, it's such a crazy Clinical. scene yeah it's because it's like and i thought i was cold yeah it's just like wow it's just like because he's thought about it like 15 steps ahead and it's just like at this point we might as well just break it off at this point because you're gonna hate me and i'm gonna be focused on my music so whatever and it's like wow That's and she's like coldest breakup i think i've ever seen because it's so yeah. logical <laughs> yeah you know and, and you really feel for her as well yeah, yeah. she ended up being supergirl though so that's the actress who played Supergirl for like a couple seasons on the CW. Oh, right. I was thinking that's not Sasha Kaya, but on TV, yeah. TV, Supergirl? On TV. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. All right. So she, I bet you Miles is kind of going, he's flying planes, but she's literally flying. So he must be mm -hmm. kind of like a bit sickened about that. <laughs> the main topic, very quickly, I'll show you the grid one last time. So on the bottom right hand corner, you have the artisan Anakin. So the main topic of tonight's show was, look, I, from what I've seen, and you can feel free to disagree with me, what I've seen is a lot of people who have got the figure, like say the Artisan Jack DX39 AE, um, a lot of people who are successful with that, or people who have been successful in the past think, great system, no problems, man. I don't know what people are talking about. But then other people who haven't got it are like, this system sucks. Um, and it's kind of like, what I want to do is kind of go, what artisans do you want to to happen what artisans you think will happen because i've been very lucky so far in the sense that the artisan joker 
I have a route with Joker and in there, so therefore I wasn't involved in that. I don't I didn't have any skin in the game, I didn't do a dry run, didn't think, didn't didn't go for it. The Anakin I don't collect prequels, so I was like, okay, I dodged that bullet, I don't have to get involved in this. The Jack, again, all these figures are stunning, you know, for the most part. But I I just don't have any skin in the game because I don't I don't want a Jack and Artisan or not. The Wanda, I think I'd prefer the sculpted one if I was to get one. But there's nothing that's been like, wow. But now, if they come out and they go, we're going to do an alien Ripley. Updated head sculpt. Rooted hair. New improved tailoring. <clears throat> artisan rooted cat. Right? Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I went there. Or if they do an aliens and they have, you know, a screen accurate uh, outfit, again, rooted hair, uh, separate rolling eyeballs function, and like the flamethrower and the, the pulse rifle and all that kind of stuff, like... I, I, I'll probably try to get on the, the sideshow list, but at the same time, I'd reach out to Lion Rock, and at the same time, I'd reach out to someone else and kind of go, okay, I need this in my life. I need this. But I don't think if I just went for it on sideshow, I don't think I'd be cribbing about it if I didn't get it. Like, Ian kind of hedged his bets. He was like, okay, I'm going to go over, uh, go to Hong Kong route, and that's the route he chose. Now, hopefully, it'll all work out for him. But I think I'd be inclined to kind of you know, hedge my bets, try to sideshow, try somewhere else and, and try to get, if it's like, let's say it's a Terminator artisan, mm -hmm. Terminator 1, Terminator 2, rooted hair, or uh, Sarah like, Connor. like I said, uh, Sarah Connor, Ripley, whatever. Then I'm thinking, okay, now, now this is, this is, now it's something I'm invested in. So I wonder, will I still be so chilled out if I don't get it? So I want to throw it out the there to you. you. Same yeah. as you, man. Exactly yeah. same with your ones. Yeah. Yeah. Completely. So I want to throw it out there. Like what, yeah. what artisan figures let, let, let's do two parts. Let's do like the I think the title of the show is Hopes, Dreams and Reality. So dreams as in, OK, this is what I want them to do, but I've accepted they probably will never do this. And then reality, this is what I think they could actually do, possibly. So Costa, we'll start with you. Like, what are your what are your dreams and what do you think they'll realistically do? What do you want them to do? What do you think they'll actually do? I personally would love uh, like any any of any of the leia figures i know we've gotten them but like rooted hair leia any of them any of them so many different uh um, great call you could even do um like the leia the bush disguise she does take yeah. her helmet off mm -hmm. at the point and her hair comes down yeah. i know i know some of us dirty people will want the slave leia or the uh the hut slayer we'll, we'll call her hut slayer leia which would be cool um uh but any, I think her hairstyles, that goes the same with, uh, like, uh, Padme. Like, all the Amidalas could be, uh, like, the crazy rooted hair. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, that's what I I, I... I think that's possible, too. Like, my dream might, and you know, could be a reality. I like the Ripley idea. That, uh, you know, get the power loader added in there, too. We'll have a 2 That'd be cool. That would be the artisan um, the version. Thing, <laughs> the only thing I'm worried about is like like J and D kind of wussed out on short hair rooted with that uh um the the Bale uh, Bale Bale Batman and they're like oh no it did not look good uh rooted so we just went with this and I'm like did it not look good rooted because I've seen some short hair uh rooted mm. that was you yeah. know, pretty good so. So uh, if we can get any of those, uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. No, Leia. Like I, I think Le I, I'm all in for like the buns. Like let's go yeah. back and and do 2.0s, but like really upgrade. Now I'm not talking about just reissue. We're talking about a full on upgrade: eyes, hair, uh, wrists, the outfit, everything. Yeah, the body's all upgraded. That's that's what and that's what artisan should be. It's not right now. Everything should have leather goods. Everything should have premium accessories. Everything uh, should be like like with the Jack Sparrow. I, I don't know if you guys talked about it earlier. The only difference between the main one and the deluxe is the hair. And I I, I would want a bigger difference. You know, like if you're mm -hmm. gonna put leather on everything then make that as a non-artisan thing i guess but i just I, it should be premium everything especially for the price and that's mm -hmm. my two cents yeah 
And uh, can you would you make a prediction like what you think the next Star Citizen is going to be just for fun? Oh, like, just for fun. All right. Like, realistically, so if we're, if we're what going, do you think do? if we're going, so we got a Star Wars, then we got the Joker, then we got Wanda. Who's a uh, looking at the figures that are um, that are high? price because that's what wanda was she was expensive on the secondary market i think they'll go back and do those uh if they have hair let me see um shit you know what i'm just gonna throw this out into the universe i don't care if it happens or not chewbacca let's have it done hot toys artisan let's get, <laughs> yes artisan chewbacca. you heard it here it, first nicely nicely uh groomed have the face done you have the it's an artisan you better make that sculpt pop and give me two of them one with the mouth open one without the mouth open there we go you heard it here first he uh, leather he bandolier was... sorry leather leather everything because that the, yeah. I, I hear the bandoliers fall apart so the um so move on then to uh let's say jose so what are your mm -hmm. dreams what what when what are they realistically you going to think you're going to do throw out a few that you would hope they do but you probably don't think they're going to do and then kind of go all right what could they possibly actually do well like the off the bat like right off the bat like sarah connor uh, from terminator 2 uh that's when i feel like needs an upgrade so if they made an artisan version but i feel like i'd be upset if they only did an artisan kind of like anakin and then i can't get her i'd be pretty upset so Hopefully they could do an update similar to Jack where you get an artisan, but you also get a sculpted version. I think a lot of collectors would be happy. And I think that that one's due for an upgrade. So Sarah Connor was my first choice. When I thought just right off the bat, it would be cool if they did a Wolverine, uh, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, artisan with the short hair, you know, nice. And uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. Maybe even for Deadpool 3 with the yellow suit. That'd be pretty cool. Shit, boy. Shit, partner. Shit. She, 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 she. Thanks for your time. <laughs> yeah, that's where my brain went to. Yeah, yeah. that's where my brain went that, to. I, I, I think that'd be pretty cool. Catwoman, mm -hmm. uh, Zoe Kravis, Catwoman, artisan. Even though she has the short hair, I think they could make it work. Very short hair. Uh, um, so I th or Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, right off the bat. Ooh. I mean, that'd be, that'd be perfect. In. Yeah. So that, uh, Michelle in. Pfeiffer, Catwoman, I think you could, uh, could, that'd be wonderful. You could do the damage, uh, you know, hair out version and also the standard version. So, uh, I think that's, that's kind of my dream scenarios, uh, or, or, um, Harley Quinn. I think they could definitely do a Harley Quinn, uh, artisan version with a uh, real uh, wool hair. Uh, they didn't do one for the Suicide Squad, uh, either the red dress or the one with yeah. the, the opening scene. So they could do that. Mm -hmm. So those kind of my dream scenarios. Um, I could see I could see a Harley Quinn happening like, I, you know, something DC. I think they might do Harley Quinn, but I could see them revisiting the one from the, the original Suicide Squad. I think that's more likely. I'm not sure why they didn't uh, capitalize on the newer movie. I mean, only doing King Shark. Uh, maybe there's a licensing issue. I don't know, uh, but I could see them going back to that look uh, instead. So, so like if you had to predict, what's the next art sound release going to be, or what's one you might see later on this year? Is there anything? Is there anything you think like realistic? Okay, they, that's one that could make logical sense that they you might see them do. Uh, Harley Quinn. I could see them doing it? Harley Quinn. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think it could be Harley Quinn. I, unless they, they, they go to... Um, I mean, this is another Hope one, but you guys mentioned, I think Costa mentioned it, the Princess Leia. Uh, yeah. But uh, I would see Princess Leia happening, but from A New Hope as artisan. That, that's my realistic guess. Um, yeah. like Costa mentioned it. It kind of fits a lot of the builds. It's probably in need of maybe a 2.0. It still looks mm -hmm. it's, it looks a great figure, but that'd be one like if they had the artisan hair and the wraps we've seen they can mm -hmm. do braids with this uh, uh jack sparrow i know it's a prototype but it looks good they can do dreadlocks i didn't think they could even do that the dread looks really convincing they look very convincing yeah so they should be able to do those those uh, donuts or those wraps bagels whatever you want to call them mm -hmm. um in, in the hair and uh, I think I, I can. I've been told the dress uh, doesn't drape as nice. A lot of people go and buy custom dresses for that particular one, and 
like that just that screams that vintage 1977 uh yeah. new hope and that could be one we could they, they make a lot of layers it's a popular character um yeah and they could probably do the artisan version for four thousand, and then mm -hmm. do the i don't know the deluxe version that has the sculpted bagels and people would i think they'd still be relatively yeah. happy because you get a second chance that's a very expensive figure in the second hand market so that'd be my realistic one i think maybe maybe not next but you think about it, a new hope is in three years time three years time will go by go by like that you know the older we get the more busy we get the more responsibility we have bang three years time it's like the 50 year anniversary of new hope they're going to they're going to celebrate that it'll be like a I can, I can see it it'll be a similar box to what we had with the empire 40th or the return to jelly 40 but it'll be like a, a gold window or something on it you, you can just see them doing that for the 50th anniversary or something like that um yeah so um go on uh, dan what about yourself uh what would you your hopes and dreams what would they be and what do you think they're realistically going to do i think i think what you said what which you've all said is ripley from alien or aliens definitely would be absolutely amazing uh terminator that line um i mean for me you know i'd love a mad max line from artisan that would be awesome uh, mad max 3 with the mullet can you imagine that that would be awesome um uh even tina turner would be actually but but these are like, these are like absolute you know dreams um and it's the same with uh i'd love a lethal weapon with uh, a mullet yeah. from uh from yeah, yeah. uh mel um and also this is another dream. I'd love a Bodhi from Point Break, Patrick Swayze. I think he'd oh, be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Just like you know, the this. This sorry, you just reminded me of something, right? So, I mentioned earlier on about the DVDs and stuff like that. I reached a stage with the DVDs that was like, okay, these are taking up a lot of space, and I hate clutter. Clearly, but. I, I was kind of going right. I, I want high quality, but I, I want to save in the space. So I was like, right, I, I'm I'm fine paying the for the download on Apple TV. I didn't want to be dealing with torrents and pop uh, pop ups. I'll have my favorite movies, but they'll be all digital. And then Ian, like I, I know, I've heard the argument uh, multiple times that you know things are being edited and changed, and some things you you simply can't get online. Like for example, big Kelly Murphy fan. Twenty eight days later, you you mm. can't get that on any platform. Like, it, you can't get it on Apple TV, I've checked. It's not on, like, Netflix or Prime or whatever like that. That was one of the, the DVDs that I actually collected from home. It was the two-pack. It was the first and second one. It was actually still sealed. I'd never opened it. But um, And then other things, like, uh, I went to watch Point Break recently. I hadn't watched it in about 20 years. And I explained to Megan, I was like, right, we're going to sit down and watch this. And I explained the gist of it. Went on to Apple. And Apple, in fairness now, you usually can find any movie you want in it. It wasn't there. There was this other... Point Break. Oh my! The God. remake. New one. Yeah. Ugh. No, I'm not even. I'm not watching that. I don't care. I, I call me like stubborn and get off of my lawn. That is not. <laughs> I don't want to see a remake. I want to see <laughs> Point Break, the actual movie, because I watched it. and It was good. I don't need this whole remake. Jesus. It's so unnecessary. I couldn't find mate. It. Did you know that Point Break, the original, has like the record for the most f bombs in like a movie? Has it really? No. Now I want to watch yeah. it more. It's, a, it's <laughs> not in the U.S. because it's available on like several platforms for free. Point is it because it like, it's weird because yeah. even like I have like oh, oh, Disney oh, Plus, Pluto. Netflix, Hold on. Prime. Hold on, maybe calling out the fact checker. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Are you sure? Are you sure? Without for, for the f bombs. <laughs> oh, the f bombs. Surely, uh, yeah. more than. I mean, Starface. that's information that I that I got from school. So if well, it's wrong, it's got to be more wait, than that. Surely, my, wait, wait, I, wait a minute. I, I would, guys. My, my wife would never do this, but she went to film school also at Hofstra, and uh -huh. uh, back and because she, she uh, was becoming a, an editor, but she moved back to Philly and you know editing jobs here. But if she would never do it, but I would, I would totally put her up against Jose and. She, right she here, here we go like... here here we go i'm, I'm well, gonna throw something out who who uh -oh. would bet against train spotting all oh, right yeah what? true actually oh yeah but even pulp fiction are super bad well i super said scarface because scarface yeah. is pretty bad 
So which one is the has the Come most on, bombs? Ian, if you Google it, I, I think yeah, I, I think no. it might have been I, I think it might have been beat by Wolf of Wall Street recently. So uh, the F word is, is used 506 times, an average of 2.8 times per minute. And the Wolf of Wall Street. Yes. So is that the Damn. one with the most F bombs ever? I I believe it might have it now. Yeah. Supposedly, wow. there's two other movies ahead of it, but I don't know if I believe this list. There's a movie called Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. That's You're all right. F word. Sorry. You're it's eight hundred fifty. Right. It's eight hundred and fifty-seven. It looks like it's a documentary about the word itself, so that doesn't count. No. Well. And then swear. That was the name of the Ooh. fictional book that the um. The writer in American fiction, he wanted to call his book that because uh, it was basically a skit. Anyone seen American fiction? Yes. Yeah. Mm, oh, not yet. So good, so good. Did you like it, Costa? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I really liked it's it. It's a clever movie. Is it? Yeah, I thought it was yeah. good. That was good. So well, then, then retracted, retract, retracted what? comment. Uh, but it, I think at one point it did hold the record for uh, for f bombs, uh, but I think now it's been beaten. I do want hey, to old textbooks right. sometimes, guys. Yeah, old I textbooks. Hey, hey, it's like science. We, we, we live and grow, you know. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone also saw that record and went, I'm going to make a movie just to just to beat that. Yeah. So, Dan, what do you think? Like, I'm with you. Like, I think the, the day they they ever announce a, an artist on um, Ripley, That's which that. I don't think they're going to do, or a um, Sarah Connor, or even a Terminator, like, you know, a... Uh, I'll, you'll be the first man to, to get a text or well, probably put it into the whole <clears> group, <throat> group chat. But um, yeah, the, the, what the do you think the realistic you're going to do? Well, the, what, the, the thing that worries that we're all saying is if they do do a, a, a Ripley or something like that um, and it's limited, that's going to be horrible because they don't, you know, it's, it's a complete, you know, I think all the others are like, you know, Marvel Cinematic, you know, DC with something like Terminator they've not done for ages. That's mm -hmm. going to have so, sim, probably similar a little bit to um, Pirates of the Caribbean, but I think the, the most people are going to want Ripley in Artisan. So that's quite scary. So hopefully that doesn't happen in that sense. Um, I think Thor definitely is going to come. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. I think uh, Princess Leia and I also think Black Widow, a good Black Widow. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, you're right, I just yeah, thought that right. too. Yeah. Uh, they could revisit the Avengers line. Any of them. <laughs> Any yeah. of them. Yeah. Or in but, but, but. But yeah, or Iron Man too. That'd be good. But yeah. I, I, I could see them doing the Avengers Avengers Black one. Widow. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I would right. say, thinking about it with the two Alien one movie and one TV show coming up, uh, and their Disney properties, who's not to say that that is going to happen? You know, Agreed. or just or just a figure. I think with these two projects coming up, and if they do well, like Prey. It might, we might be we might be able to get a Ripley. Um, so, you guys, mark it here. You guys said it. Here. I think they're going to like because that that movie is 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 the timeline is in between Alien and Alien. So at that point, mm -hmm. Ripley would be asleep in cryo. So if that is a successful movie, which I really hope it is, I think they'll go down the prey route where they didn't give us the original Predator, the Jungle Hunter, but they gave us that version. But I was still happy because. I actually liked that movie, and I, 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 I'm happy enough to get get that predator. It, it, grew, it grew in me. I'd still prefer the Jungle Hunter, but I think what's going to happen is if it is a very successful, because Disney, like, they own the rights to Alien Predator now, I believe. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's yes, true. Fox, isn't it? Yep. It's if this definitely. is good, I don't necessarily think we're going to get a Ripley, but we might get some version of the Xenomorph. Which, yeah. If you like the movie, I think. No one's gonna turn their nose up. Whatever. One positive that I related. that I heard about that movie that I just read about, he the, the director Alvarez said that he hates using blue or green screens. That he yeah, loves shooting that. practical. Yeah. And that's all Brilliant. he's gonna do. And he said the less he uses it, the better. So he built all the sets, so everything is like the original. Yep. There's a move. There's a big move into that practical effects, like as in, as in I know everyone did practical effects in the past because that's all they had. And yeah. then we got like CGI boom and the like the, the noughties or the nineties and noughties and everything was CGI to the point it was like, eh, it just looks like a computer game. And then there was like, you know, I think Denny Villeneuve is famous for it. Obviously Nolan is famous for it. the practical effects until they're not practical anymore. And then they, 
incorporate the CGI or your volume or whatever. And even he doesn't want to use the the volume, I think. Uh, well, well, no, Denny said he didn't want to use the volume for Dune because he wanted to be on location. Because mm-hmm. you want the desert to look like a desert and whatever. Like, but Ian, what are your what are your hopes, dreams, and what are reality you think is going to happen? I sense a joke coming. No, so... <laughs> Okay, right, you guys are missing something that I think's fundamental with all due respect. So, in terms of a rooted version, artisan version, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that a DX04 will be remade. What's the DX04 again? Bruce Lee. Ah, Oh, Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, so, doesn't Enterbay have the license though? No. Or is that no? Okay. No, not for six. No. So you've got Blitzway doing one right now. That's got rooted hair. Right now, that's awesome. Is a statue. I don't know if it's six or third scale. It's awesome. Um. So. The biggest movie star in Asia is Bruce Lee, without a doubt. Still? No, no, nobody can touch him. Still, so still they they will do a rooted version of Bruce Lee. What version that is? Enter the Dragon, Game of Death. Don't know, but they wow. will do that, and I will be there all day long. I've got the original DXO four. Love it. It's shown its age. I will never sell it. It will be packed up in a box and it will be there. But I believe that they will do a rooted version of that because it is the biggest figure IP in Asia without a shadow of a doubt still to this day. So, Ian, that aside. a question for you. Yeah. What do you think about, speaking of Bruce Lee, what do you think about his scene in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yeah, we don't... <laughs> well, well, one that's yeah, fuck that shit. I love that movie, but fuck that shit. So I yeah, love that, that scene, though. <laughs> I actually no, love that scene because so, it's like if it. I don't think. It, well, I've heard mixed opinions on it. I've heard the family weren't impressed with it at all. Mm-mm. I've I've heard that um, the character that Brad Pitt is based on was an absolute bear of a man who actually was able to like just if, if he was able if he if he gets his hands on you game over uh so i've heard mixed opinion then everyone else saying no he wouldn't stand a chance it's bruce lee but uh, you were just like you just hated it because it, it kind of uh made it no, look like something he wasn't or I, I i like him or that i've bruce lee's been a big influence in my life i've done martial arts since i was five I've taught Kung Fu for a long time, so it's not because I'm a fanboy or anything like that, no. It's it's just not accurate. <laughs> so it's mm-hmm. I've got um videos that are real life, early doors that are quite rare that suggest different. So mm-hmm. anyway, we're no game. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm like a huge a fan like you, but I know of him and I know some of his, yeah. you know, movies and stuff. But I remember watching that scene and I, I did think it was a little strange. And I remember reading deferring opinions about it. Some people saying that he was kind of like that, I and heard, some people, yeah. yeah so, yeah. yeah but I, I think, um, I think Tarantino did it on purpose to go because he knew it would be a talking point. Yeah, I mean, like went against on, the grain, I, like, yeah. And I love Tarantino, but it was just so inaccurate, it's ridiculous. And I've and I Shannon deserves the right to say call it out and say that it was absolute bullshit. So and it was. But anyway. Is, is Shannon this. like a relation of Bruce Lee or her daughter, his daughter, her, right? Daughter. Ah, daughter. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. She so, runs the whole, uh, so, she runs everything. And, yeah, uh, she runs the state, right? right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Brand, Brandon's sister. So. But wouldn't that she kind of like, um, like, it's not a documentary either. It's like, kind of, you know, it's just a director making a movie. and. 
that's just the direction he chose to go. Like, do you think Tarantino no. actually believes that? Do you know that? Do you think Tarantino would actually believe that? I don't think Tarantino would even believe that it would. Uh, that that confrontation would go that way. Do you know what I mean? I think he chose to do that and went in that direction. And yeah, because, I mean, yeah, it, you look at his ending, right? He he rewrote history, right, with the Manson murders and all that. So oh, he totally. Mm. So yeah, yeah, it was a creative uh, license. Yeah, like it wasn't. A, it's, it's a hard one. I love Tarantino, but yeah, that this was just a bad take. So, mm -hmm. and no, I'm that's, probably that's biased enough. because of Kung Fu and Jeet Kune Do. I've done all that. So you I think you know biased. someone, and you realize you're streaming with a lethal weapon for the last two years. <laughs> <laughs> Ra rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> Ian has a particular set of skills which makes him a nightmare for people like us. He will find us. He will kill it's, us. It's called a Scottish martial art called Fuck You. <laughs> right. Oh, we are so demonetized. Right. <laughs> right. So, right. going back on, what was the question apart from Bruce Lee aside? So, how did I get the figs again? into the fig rolls? No, it was uh, the artisan. Artisan. What do you think? So, what would you like to see? And then what do you think they're actually going to do? So, I genuinely believe at some point they'll do a Bruce Lee because they cannot not do that. So, put that aside. And what they will, or what I hope they will do, is Michelle Pfeiffer, Catwoman, Catwoman, absolutely all day. Please, anybody, everybody, do it. Like a really good one, not the. I can't remember what the third party. Monstroy. Like it's like. I think that one got cancelled, right? Did it? You're talking about the uh, which version? Which Catwoman are you talking about? So Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman. Uh, there was a third party figure. Oh, oh, the one that already uh, came out. There was like a Play Toys or something oh, like that. It was was no, it, a, it AC we're Toys? About Mars AC toys. toys. That yeah, shit. Yeah, Mars teased one but they haven't released one yeah yeah no. but give, give me that all day long i would love that not a, not an artisan just a really good figure of that so i'd love that good stuff folks thanks for all lots of uh interesting and exciting things if they ever were to do that my picks are my dreams are that they do a repeat for number one or number two alien or aliens um uh, Sarah Connor will be lovely uh, an artisan even I look I'm I'm someone who has the DX13 and the uh, T800 police shootout I should be I've never been a gatekeeper so it's like I don't care if they redo them again if they're a significant increase I, I consider them it's like certain things I'm just not interested in like say stuff from the sequels or I know the animated stuff or video games because I simply don't play video games and there's a lot of cool stuff and I'm like oh that looks really cool but I gotta stay in my lane Whereas other mm -hmm. things like stuff in the Dark Knight trilogy or Terminator, I, my default is I'm gonna give it a look. Might not get everything, but yeah, it'd be really a, it'd be great if the, if they didn't a Ripley from the first movie or the second movie. Um, yeah, your 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 Sarah Connor would be amazing if they did it again. So I think that needs a significant upgrade. T1000 ending from the Terminator movies. Um, yeah, but I think realistically, if I had to give a take on something that I think they will do Artisan with the uh, new rooted hair, I, I think would be a new Hope Leia. Maybe not now, maybe give it a year or two or even three, probably three years until they start doing the 50th anniversary stuff. I have a bit of good news, bit of good news. Today, um, over the last week or two, I've been in contact with Inart and um, I have been obviously in contact with Lion Rock Toys who, if even following the channel you know that when my Ruta 2 pack arrived I got two copies of the same sculpt and they were flopping around the jars so one of them was a little nicked on the nose it's tiny a type of thing that maybe it was there anyway or I'm not sure but two copies of the one sculpt so I reached out to Inner and uh, it's obviously not their fault they didn't pack the heads into the little tubes they even double boxed the huge tombstone box and we've been they've basically forwarded that information to the distributor and that was going on, but the last few weeks have been really kind of going, man, this has gone on a year. This is not cool. Like, I reached out in our, thought I wouldn't get anything back, and they basically said, you've got to go back to Lion Rock and Lion Rock get their distrib distributor, because Lion Rock have their own distributor in between in our, if, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
so like as in Lion Rock would be the retailer I got it from, but they have their own distributor and then the Inert gives the stuff to the distributor in Hong Kong. But today Inert, or was it yesterday, or not, it's a, yesterday morning, Lion Rock Toys reached out and they said, right, um, yeah, post it back to us. This address will cover the uh, cost of the shipping, which is awesome. So it looks like I'm finally, finally getting the replacement. So it's times like this, it's times like this, that I feel like this. That was me and you, Ian, hugging. It, yeah, ab absolutely. <laughs> Shane, see, see when you get my video, finally from Royal Mail. We'll, oh yeah. We'll be, we'll be hugging. Yeah, that'd be us. That'd be us. That'd be us, man. And I, I've got, a, I've got, a, I've got a gift for you as well. So I must send that over to you. Um, you can be my wingman anytime, right? Oh, man. Look, that's the sweetest thing anyone's ever said to me. Um, <laughs> folks, hey, 65 Shane. people still watching this nonsense. I love you all. Go on. Sorry, Shane. He was talking about me. No, you. All right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Shot down. Shot down. That actually hurt. Don't, don't even deny it, Jose. You'll still be that, on this show. That hurt. <laughs> That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs> All right. I think we're just about finished there. Uh, obviously, thank you to the panel. Uh, Ian, Agent Silverfox, Jose Plus. Thank you to Rand. Will you tell Randall we said thank you and we'll, we'll get in contact about Plus. Oh, oh Randall. There Randall. You're ah, a filthy right. little bugger. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, um, who locked who in the closet, Randall? Did he lock you in the closet or did you lock him in the closet? Oh, I'm backwards. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we lock each other in the closet from time to time. That's what good friends do. I, we right? need to, yeah. the, nobody's in control of the channel. We each got our own channel, but, uh, you know, we want to we wanna mess with each other's channels. Yeah, of course. Of course. Why not? Why not? We'll be in contact anyway, and uh, we'll uh, hopefully arrange an episode of Visions. I think that'll be a lot of fun, and it'll be a good watch. Um, that has to be entertaining for, for people and for us. <laughs> Folks, massive thank you to all the channel members, the panel members, the uh, people engaged in the chat. At one point, we had like 74 viewers, which is fantastic for the Hope Show on a Monday night. It seems to be growing. Uh, currently, there's 60 people still watching us. So, um just a quick run around. Anyone to plug anything, their own channel, their own Instagram, anything they're involved in? Uh, Jose? Uh, no, no. Uh, no. I'll, I'll be, I'll be starting to post some, some collection photos soon. Uh, but uh, it's taken me some time. So I'm learning yeah. how to take photos. Mm -hmm. So I, I showed you guys the Michael Myers ones that I took. So I'm working mm -hmm. on that, like aesthetically. And so I'm learning and I'm watching some videos. And there's a lot of good dudes uh, on, you know, in the community that have great videos on that so i'm trying to learn 100%. But, uh, yeah excellent and what about yourself ian i'm i'm getting a lot of requests for doing a collection tour so mm. i might do that and we might do a reverse thing that we've done so anybody no problem, please yeah. watch shane's live collection tour from this weekend i was watching it uh i, I watched it live but then the, the i didn't catch the beginning and i was watching the replay yesterday mm -hmm. so Cool. Thanks. Yeah, appreciate good. that. Yeah, that was worked out better than I thought it would. And thanks yeah. to you, obviously, and everyone watching. I know Randall was watching as well. And uh, Mario as well, giving us the put it on full screen, which made a lot of sense. Lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. What about yourself? Uh, cost ending coming up on the channel? Yeah, uh, I'm working on the video for this display. Get your full screen. Platform. Wow. Oh. So you actually see, that light up platform. Blue. Yeah, That's it also cool. has, uh, it's, it's not only is it uh, light up, but it's interchangeable. So it's got mm -hmm. like magnetic. Mm -hmm. So I have like uh, one with a flight stand. So you can put your figures on here. You can put all kinds of stuff on it. Very cool. Uh, Saturday, I will be doing a live build. So come join me and see if I mess up like last time. It's like <laughs> you, get, you get the, you get it all. You get all the the uh the mess ups and and all the fun stuff and the last one lasted three hours because there was a mess up so i will be uh showing everybody my current technique on putting the vinyl tape on your mm -hmm. acrylic and it looks marvelous 
marvelous. And join me on my channel. It's Randall. I'm a comedy channel. <laughs> I, I like the one six, but I'm more comedy. You know, I used to freestyle rap, and I, and my current short is me freestyle rapping. Give me three you, words. Give me three you, words. Focus. Give me three words, Shane. I you have uh, you've, you've 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 a channel. You've been shorts up already, yeah? Yep. It's Randall. Three, it's three, three Randall. words. Toys Wonderland three. Sphincter. Wait. Toys Wonderland Sphincter. That is three words. Wait. Toys Wonder. Yeah, that's three words. Okay. Uh. 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 I bought some toys from Toys Wonderland, and they took it my money and when i went to get them they told me to stick it up my sphincter my sphincter <laughs> my anus <laughs> it's very heinous i can't believe uh they did that to me but i'm gonna go to china and uh punch them in the knee <laughs> Man, rap. You, uh, it's rap, like watching baby. logic rap. uh amazing yeah yeah that that's some that's some hardcore. Your flow, uh, your flow is sick. Yeah, yeah, oh, amazing, yeah. my flow is totally sick. It's more like uh, pre-rap. It's like before <laughs> rap happens. It's it's called crap. <laughs> you know it, baby. Uh, no, I love come it. On, no, come on, <laughs> love you. He's he's, he's he's doing he's doing his best, folks. Right. Thanks very much for watching. What we did the against the machine? I think oh, we saved yeah, up one for yeah. visions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, folks, thanks very much, and uh, yeah, we're out of here. Make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and uh, much appreciated, folks. Uh, yeah, good luck. Bye.